Uh, welcome in, everybody. Back to Couples and Warlords, episode 14. Uh, last week, we had too, too many people out, and um, we decided to call it. So, uh, yeah, we're back this week, and yeah, ready, ripping, ready to go. Uh, we kept the rolls from last week, so Providence is going to have a recap tonight. She did roll a one and chose to not use the inspiration to re-roll it. Um, let's see. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below with your favorite part. Your, if you don't want to leave a comment, leave your favorite emote. Uh, we do have the Black Order that is coming to YouTube exclusive. And our first recording is Sunday. So we're going to have our first recording on Sunday. And yeah, uh, look for that to post probably the next day. The day we have the stream, maybe? Oh, I have to figure out a schedule for that. But yeah, but we have our first recording Sunday night at 10 o'clock. So yeah. yeah, that being said, I'll turn it over to our lovely streamers in chat. First off, we have JR, the nerd. Hey, uh, last I checked, I think I'm covered on uh, stream. The, yeah. or, <clears throat> you are? Am I, am I still covered? You have the, you have the oh, yeah, 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 it's yeah, just so character art. Yeah. I didn't know if you were going to be here or not. Let me fix that. Ooh. There you go. You're good now. I mean, we could just stick with the character at the elephant. He's way sexier than I actually am, so there's that. Um, Looks like you sit in a dark room, to be honest. All right, here, I'll add some more light in just a second. Uh, <laughs> I am. Uh, I've been out of commission this week, so I think I'm streaming tomorrow. I got to check my 900 voice messages and text messages. But uh, we do usually have Maiden's Mayhem or Priest's Playtime on Tuesday nights. And on Sundays, Boba, but I got to confirm. So I'm not 100% sure. Uh, JR the Nerd is the handle. Come and check me out. Sweet. And I'll and go check the lights. Silver Wolf. You're muted on Zoom. On Zoom. Yep, 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 yep. <sighs> I can't win. If it's not one thing, it's the other. Um, Don't worry, we'll clip it and make sure everybody reminds you. <laughs> evil but uh i streamed finally for the first time last week and hopefully we'll be doing again this friday as well at 7 p.m mountain time we'll probably be playing some more warzone or apex and i think that's it as of now i'm not sure what else i'm going to be doing so it's up in the air got it that being said don't really have much else for announcements other than uh we're about to regularly schedule programming for Dragonlance for this Friday. Um, and then uh, we'll be finishing up Camp Carrying Clay. So hopefully you can finish that up. They're in the middle of it right now. So, yeah, I still got it set up over on the table here. Yeah, I can't wait to take that apart. That's going to be fun. Uh, yeah. With that being said, let's, uh, you know, grab a goblet, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show.
And welcome back. Well, I love him. Providence, would you like to lead us in tonight's recap, please? <clears throat> my Lady Silphrena, it's been um, a few days since my last intercession, but I would really like to ask you, um, could I have some wings? Um, so, the other night, JR, not J, no, wait, sorry, oh, I'm tired. Uh, last night, Feathers, uh, he gave me the ability to fly, which I think is ironic because he cannot fly, but, you know, uh, so I was flying around and I was just thinking that wouldn't it be amazing if I could just fly all the time? Like, I would be like your champion on wings. Um, just a thought, letting, letting it out there. Um, think about it. Um, also, um, I'm a little bit worried. Um, Fane has been really getting obsessed with these cards. And and now she's just being followed around by some some strange specter thing. I, I think it's benign, but um yeah, we should look into that. Um but other than that, um we met some goblins the other day. Apparently there's like two hundred of them, but we only met like ten. Um one is a guy named Bolts. Uh he seems pretty nice. Um they shot at Fane, Fane shot back, there was some anger issues. But uh we calmed him down. Um, so he's uh, he's nice to us now. Uh, we let him have uh, all the, the well. What did we give him? We gave him all the bodies. Uh, they seemed appeased, um, but I think they didn't. Well, I think they brought back our horses, but I don't know where the horses are. Um, we went to bed last night, and uh, Arwena said that she saw a dragon in the middle of the night. I don't know. I think she's hallucinating. And what else? Oh yeah, uh, Kalis is is snoring a lot. Like it sounds like he's growling in his sleep. I don't know what's going on. Um, and then he bit Fane. Um, so we'll have to talk to him about that. It's not good. It's some. Um, it is some. Oh, sorry. Bit us some. Sorry, I'm tired. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, so friendly. Um, so we look a lot alike. Mm -hmm. Honestly, basically the same character. Um, yeah, yeah, and then now it's morning. Um, we don't really know what to do. We have this this cart. We're supposed to go back to the to the Livingsters and report back, but none of us want to. Like we just escaped out of there, and and um, like uh, we've only been there a couple of days. Like Fane and I and Kalis, we've only been there for a few day, a few days. But but the others, like they were in there for like two, three, like forty seven years. I don't know. They're really old. Um, yeah, like they can't go back. So. I think we're going to go to East Haven. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Lady Safrena. As always, I am your sword. You're on mute. Uh, so from... Sorry about that. Uh, I guess that one's getting clipped, too. Uh, so my lore keeper, RNS, or note taker, whatever, we're on day eight, right? For my notes. Uh. I'm tracking this will be day eight. Eight of the campaign. We're on. Yeah. Hold on. Let me pull it up again. One second. I'm pretty sure it's day eight because I had day seven. While she's, while she's pulling it up, can we decide on an official title for Silver? Like, could we call her Keeper of Tomes or something really fancy? Actually, we're on day ten. Are we on day ten? We're on day, day 10. ten. Yeah, we start um, on the eighteenth. We are now on the twenty eighth. What if we call her that one that's so old she's mastered the ability to remember stuff? That is the longest title in the world. We could call I'm her sure the, ones. the ancient one that writes stuff down. The great rememberer. <laughs> oh that one. <laughs> I like that. That great is rememberer. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> oh, heaven help me. Okay. <laughs> anyway, what would y'all like to do? Today is yours. Actually, let me roll for weather. It's a nice, fair, <laughs> cloudy day with the sun ever so awfully peeking through the clouds every now and then. It's morning. We can say, yes, yeah, morning. The sun is rising. It's partly cloudy. Hmm. If y'all want me to go off uh, out of combat initiative, but y'all all right there. Um, I have a question. Is my... Spectre, male, female, other. Have you checked? Is this Have like checking a cat? 
Yes. <laughs> does it have a tattoo? Is yeah, like does is it does it look more monstrous than like a person? Well, this thing looks terrifying. Awesome. I I think you should have to do a medicine check to be honest. Do I need to do a medicine check to see if it's oh androgynous or if I can tell if what pronouns I should use for it? Is there can, asking? You, can you just I ask will it? Do that. It doesn't talk. That's okay. Maybe it's... It, looks like it makes noises just because I want to make noises with the specter. Yeah. Um, but, but am I doing a medicine check? Because I'm really good at those guys. I don't even have a negative on that. So what is funny about this, because mm. it specifically says it follows you around. Every yep. time you turn it around to do a medicine check, it just follows you around behind. Like So you're doing circles, and it's just following you around, like a doll chasing okay. its tail. <laughs> the dog will, will see its tail for parts of it. So no, It's kind of like if you're a doll chasing your tail. It's just following you around. What if – okay, so I'm going to really quickly – I'm going to jump and do a 180 – and, and and try to see it for a split second. Just turn your head. If I turn around fast enough, does yeah, it just turn your go head through me or does <laughs> it go around me still? This is Fang we're talking about, okay? This is Fang. True, I'm sorry. How about yeah. this? It vanishes and reappears. That's not hmm. following. That's boring. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I won't do a medicine check. I mean, you can. It doesn't matter. I mean, I don't know how you can do a medicine check on something that's not there. It's, I mean, it's, it's there, but it's just not something you can physically touch, if that makes sense. I ju it's, I'm just trying to figure out if the body is telling me anything about potential pronouns. If you I don't think you need to do a medicine check. Potential just give me a perception play. check. Okay. Can I use the role that I used for my medicine check? Sure. Okay. Thank you, because that was an 18 on the diet, which means... It is a 19 total. Rolling dice to check for wiener. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. You can just or, look or at the feature know, features. Nope. Check that, for wiener. That's what I was going for. I hate all y'all so much. Uh, what'd you get? Sorry. 19 total. I need to know what I'm naming this thing. Pat. Does she have a special ability she can use for this? So we're can I roll on. sheer She's... awesomeness? Saturday Night no. Live skit. Uh, yeah. Because the spectral is kind of like, it's not like a solid image. So it fades out and all this, but you can definitely tell with the definitely cleavage that has that it and the long draping hair that is a female. Cool. You was soon to be female, yes. Yes. All right, I will start thinking of a name now. Thank you. That was all. I thought you already named it Jenny last episode. I, I was naming it Jenny, but that was under the assumption that it was female. Got it. Oh, yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> anyway, yes, uh, for everybody that's catching up in chat, uh, she did pull the... The specter card or whatever, so now she has like this ghostly thing just following them around, following her around specifically. But the party would not have to think more. I don't know. Think about like before you go into shops and stuff because this thing is following. Oh. <laughs> so, and it makes hmm. noise. Does it smell? No. Is it able to smell stuff? That'd be really cool. I, I, does it give off odor? No. Use context clues, fade. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this morning, who's fixing breakfast? Do you have anything to fit? Oh, I think you still have uh, meat from something you uh, killed. Yes. I, yes. I will cook breakfast because I need to teach my new pet ghost how to do stuff. Did I just hear pet ghost? Yes. He says as he's like doing his morning kata. <laughs> okay. It's okay though, because I won't cough on the food. Are you sick? 
Maybe a little. You can but hear it's fine. that. Scoopy oh. as hell. <laughs> Kalis, I think it was from the rain last night. Come here, Fane. No, I can't. I'm cooking breakfast and it might and burn. I'm coming to you. Okay. I'm facing the fire, so I don't know if that means you're going to end up walking through my pet ghost, but... All right, we look, I, we, I will come to the side. I'm not going to walk through the ghost. Can you can you see my pet ghost? Uh, if it's within 10 feet of me, yeah. So it's not like echolocation. It's like you just see everything that's there? Yeah, I get like a sense of... Okay. He basically gets like Daredevil powers. I don't but like. I don't see Daredevil like definition. I don't see like definition, or, you know. Yep. Like I can't discern faces, but I can see. Yeah. Uh, I will drop five HP, and I will gently clap her on the shoulder and heal her of whatever disease or sickness is afflicting her uh fane as your cough and your runny nose starts subsiding and you your your congestion in your chest somehow is removed from out of your mouth and as it vaporizes into the air that was cool i if i get sick every night can we just make that a daily thing because that was fun sure don't make a habit of it Okay, did you Maybe. describe how that looks like when you do it? Uh, yeah, so just like any other of my lay on hands, it my hand kind of glows with that light of like the star, like a starlight, sort of like a bluish white. Um, and it like when I touch, it seeps from my hand and envelops their entire body really bright for just like one second and then. Everything dims off as the healing takes place. All right. Uh, who's cooking breakfast? Is Fane? It's uh, Fane. What, what are you cooking? Um, you said we had meat. I figured I was cooking that. I don't know. Did y'all have meat? I was trying to figure out if y'all killed oh. any animals or eat this. If not, then I'll just take out no. some rations and cook them to make them smell nice and give them a nice crisp layer. Uh, okay. Trying to not char them. Got it. Unless somebody wants to go hunting, that's also an option. Wait, I think somebody did. They had gotten rabbits. That's what it was, wasn't it? No, yeah. that's Dragon Lance. That was Dragon Lance. Never mind. I thought we just had rations. Yeah, yeah so have... I can use a bunch of rations. That's fine. They're like the heaviest thing in my pack. How many rations do you have, woman? Enough. Ten, like everybody else. Well, not not everyone starts with ten. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese ball bearings is what ha was she saying? <laughs> no, I only bought soap. Do you want me to oh. use seven of my rations? I can do that. Depends on how much you're trying to make. Yeah, but if you want I'm to use seven, I'm trying to feed everybody. all of us, and I don't really care enough about Mister the Honorable yet. He pulls out his own so, ration and starts oh. eating. Yeah, I'm gonna cook us all the best mm -hmm. rations you've ever tasted. Give me a performance check to see how well you do with this. Ooh, guys, I'm good at that. Nope, that's in that one. That oh. would be good. <laughs> For a total of? A total of five. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, five is better than one. So, this is what I'm going to do, because you didn't specifically say it. Cause Can I use my did, inspiration now instead? <laughs> of calling to re-roll it, it, it? To re-roll yeah. it? Yeah, re-roll yeah. it. Because okay. I'm about to say... Oh, yeah, that's a nat 20 so for a 24, actually. All right, it keeps hitting things and stopping. I'll do this to flavor it up, right? <laughs> yeah. So you, you, do you have cooking supplies? If she doesn't, I do. Okay, so using Kayla's cooking supplies, that works. Yep. 
Absolutely. As, as you were sitting here, you're wondering at first, you're wondering why it's not heating up and stuff. And then you realize, oh, the fire went out overnight. And then you finally <laughs> light the fire. And then you actually start cooking them. And, and you get them nice little, yep. little moist. Yeah, moist about to it. I would cook for Prue and I. I've been doing it for like six years. I know how to cook over a fire. Just ask. You just, forget, you, you just forgot to light it. <laughs> yeah, uh, Providence starts smelling, like sniffing at the air. Is like, oh, is that caramelized rations again? Yep. Thanks, buddy. Mm, crispy. Yep. Yeah, a little overcooked caramelized. No, -uh, not with that that twenty. It's yeah. Delicious, Spain. Thank you. Thank you, Fane. Um, over breakfast, Kalis is going to be like digging through his bag and uh, show of hands. Who needs a healing potion? Uh, everybody? Everybody? I have my own healing. Yeah. In case? I don't, I don't have one. I can heal with other stuff. Well, I have I one, three, four. I, I have, have healing too, but. Five greater potions of healings to divvy out. Is what uh... I'm saying. I'll take one in case in case somebody falls down. Okay. I will also take one. Okay. I'll take one too. Okay. There's one more. There's two more. Switch. Oh, you're not keeping them? Okay. I'm dipping them out. Switch needs one. Okay. I don't need one. All right. Then I will hold on to one unless Esau wants it. That's okay. You can have it. Okay. I will hold on to that. I just wanted to make sure that people have them on them if they need them. All right. Uh, you consume breakfast. Divvy up the po greater potions of healing. As you're no. eating breakfast, I guess, uh, does anybody want to have any specific conversations? I can go down to out of combat initiative if you like me to. It's up to you. Um, I don't no, Glitch I is going to finally sit on the ground and magically make smithing tools for an hour. Okay. That's what he's going to do while he nibbles. Uh, Providence is going to sit uh, a, a little bit away from everyone and she's going to try and mimic uh, things she's seen before. She'll try and she'll try and mimic like Kalis when he's like trying his product. Uh, she'll just try and, and like meditate for a little while. Just, she's just trying to like get control of her own self. So she's just like sitting down. Uh, I'll be in the cot uh, whenever they you know, decide what you want to do and let me know. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go over to our witness and just at. If she's standing, I'm just going to put a hand, both hands on her back. And if she's sitting, it's going to be on her shoulders. Uh, and I'm going to try to ritual cast, I know what this is, a.k.a. identify on her. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm learning things. Okay. And I'm just going to spend 11 minutes mumbling to myself. Uh, but does Arna sit there for 11 minutes so yeah, you get it's... able to cast this? I'll follow her around. Oh. Her I have a funny feeling she'll follow me around no matter what I do. <laughs> uh, and I'm pretty sure the spell identifies says item, not creature. You, if you if you instead touch a creature throughout the casting, you learn what spells, if any, are currently affecting it. So I know it's not okay. going to do anything. Affecting um, it. Got above it. table. Okay, it's pain it. though. And when I tried this on Prue, I got a nasty headache. And I want to learn what else happens when I try to identify and learn things about other people. Okay. Are you going to sit there and allow her to do that? I guess so. I, I would uh, ask. Would Arnis allow sit there and allow her to do that? No, she's actually going to walk around and kind of step it. Okay, I'm. I'm going to try to follow and like. What are you doing? Stop it! I'm pretty sure you have to sit still for this spell, so. It yeah, just they... says I have to touch something for the whole thing. So, but whatever, whatever you decide, the outcome is gonna be the same. So, I mean, she's actively drawing away from you. Is I imagine, I imagine as interrupting the spell. Okay, then I'm just gonna mumble to myself and try to do it for the whole time and get nothing. 
Yeah. Hmm. I mean, what does everybody else do do when you see Fane like chasing Arnus around like this? Laugh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I see how it is. <laughs> It's your turn. My turn for what? Whatever that is. And he kind of like gestures at Thane in general. <laughs> yeah. But, but why don't you get a turn? I think oh, I've had turn. turns. I've had <laughs> turns. But now I know that you're not made of best friend headaches like Prue is. Your concept of pain is fascinating to me, Fane. Thank you. I don't think that was a compliment, but okay. It was. Um. Okay. <sighs> so, who has been to East Haven before? I have... Robin just raises her hand, but she's like still sitting no. on the ground. I have not. We even Never. have a cool East Haven trick. John's just thinking, sitting there thinking yeah. about where he's been. A trick, you said? Yep. Like, huh? what kind of trick? Um, Jugan, it rained last night? Oh, no. Uh, during yeah. the middle of the night, so everything is kind of like. More of a. Can we there find any puddles? a puddle? Just one. Give me a survival check. Uh, do you want to look for it, or should I? Uh, I am currently meditating or okay. attempting to. I will. I will do that then. You do have that rewards. That is a total of four. I swear you have Perfect. rewards. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. Hold on a second. That's Jugan, can I just look there. around as a as a nature check and get a twenty four? <laughs> get a twenty four. Just roll a twenty four. Oh, you just did roll. Yeah. Oh. And For then she's nature. like still meditating, and she just like opens one of her eyes, and she's like faint over there. <laughs> you see, uh, I'm sorry to say, tree, but you're in the plains. You see a little like indent of a puddle where like you would see like partly somebody had walked through within the watch one of the watches last night and there's like still a nice little puddle form from a, one of the footprints hey hey proof remember yeah. east haven yeah you want you want to okay hold on hold on so Prue's gonna get up and she's gonna walk over to the puddle that we found and she'll just look at Fane. She's like, okay, ready. Okay. And I'm going to use shape water to just kind of like jump it up into a mist. And at the same time, Providence is going to uh, set off her um, radiant consumption. And rainbows. Just describe, get rainbows. What, <laughs> describe what it looks like. I'm not doing it. It, it looks like rainbows because it's a whole bunch of light going through mist. Yeah. What does that have mm -hmm. to do with East Haven? Um, it's where we first did it. Yeah, yeah. Did use it as a distraction. Look how cool it looks. <laughs> it is rainbows. It's pretty great. I'm sure. It's if you have to come close to see it, because I know you don't see far very good. All right. If you come close, you'll get hurt. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That said, how much damage did? I just take from your radiant consumption. <laughs> Probably just three. Okay. So East Heaven all... is a pretty boring place if they find that interesting. Well, it's more distracting. That's not just filtered light. Yeah, but is there have really you made not... the rainbow today? I don't think so. Maybe. Actually, there might be one. One that I've never made. looked. Man, I don't think there is. Give me a perception check, Garner. We'll just splash in the puddle and make one perception. Oh, oh I thought you were looking in the sky for it. Yeah, 
19. <clears throat> yeah, one of the clouds uh, that's near the sun. I'm sorry, not near the sun. That's not how they work. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. It's closer than that. We are. <laughs> so, uh, looking towards, like, Actually, looking towards where Kingville Castle is, you can start see, you can see the very top of the spires. You can see like a little beautiful little rainbow going across the back that fades in the background of those little spires or towers. I'll point at and said, "Look what I made." <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, <laughs> but yours wasn't made through the power of friendship and care bearers. Care what? You care got what? Me there. Ah. <laughs> okay. Exactly. I know That's... things. Uh -huh. Actually, I just cast President Station and make a rainbow right on my hands like this. Oh my god, no. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so so we're gonna steal everything from this town if they're distracted by that. No, yes, no, no. 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 <laughs> if you guys actually need a distraction, we've got, um, yeah, we've got stuff. Okay, sorry, I was just bugging you. Uh huh. I'll go back to my tinkering. Uh, we're getting the East Haven Point, right? Right. Okay. East Haven. It's at least step one. And then using Mr. The Honorable to find out more about that order and maybe get help. Exactly, yep. Figure out a way to get out of here. Or somewhere. Take the carriage. We have a big thing right now. Well, yeah, that part. <laughs> I mean, away farther. How to get away from here, everything. <laughs> but continue on. <laughs> Anything else we have to deal with or before we, somebody else shows up? If we're all done eating, I figure we head out. Perfect. If we take the carriage, can I ride on top of it? Fane or Providence, give me a survival check because I think you're the only ones that have been near, anywhere near this area. Yep. That's a 15. Five total. Fane, you're too distracted by your uh, rainbows. Uh, and my, and well, uh, Robin is looking around and looking back towards where the castle is and where East Haven is. You gather you're somewhere in between. You do know that Glint, uh, Glinton is south some way towards you, but if you go down to like a southeast walk, you'll find the King's Road which would lead you straight through to Glitton and the castle. And that and also will take you to East Haven Port. But right now you have to travel south to get to the road, or you can take your chances on going through the past or uh, plains. Okay. Um, so I think it's probably best if we, we head south. Um, we should be able to find a road. Roads are um, generally good. Yeah, I think with the carriage will probably be best. And she kind of describes everything that you just said. Sounds like a plan. Um, do, you, do we want to do anything about the, the carriage? Like, can we disguise it in any way? Do we have paint? I was thinking of something more magical. Yeah, paint would work too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, I don't. Ha I don't have paint. 
so <laughs> maybe we could just pry this in insignia off. I have a, enough. I have a forgery kit. Can you forge a sign? I don't know how to use it. That's awesome. That is a uh, Manny leftover. Uh, Providence will start to just walk up to the cart and just start to pry off the um, uh, any of the the visible things that you could pry off that would signify this as being Black Order. I will assist. Thank you. You're muted. Every time. <laughs> I, uh, you do notice that most of the, the symbols and the, the wings are like engraved into the wood. Ooh, ooh, I can I can blast it to make it look different. Um, and maybe give extra windows. <clears throat> right, hold, on, not, right? hold, hold on. Hold on. Let's hold off on that for now. But no, no, but hear me out, because Prue's really good at fixing things, and maybe she can fix it to look not like that. Or maybe if you just fix it, it won't be engraved anymore. I'll, I'll try, I'll try. Hold on, hold on. Um, and Providence is going to lay her hands on the, just on a piece of the wood that has like an insignia on it, and she's going to try and use, uh, she calls it fix stuff, but it's actually the mending spell. Can she use the mending spell to see if she can just turn this back into a regular looking wood? You You're muted again. So, so like trying to figure out. You can, but it's gonna take you a little bit of time. How long does it take to cast a spell? Uh, it is uh, one, is minute. one minute. All right. You can, uh, but if you want to get like all the areas of this cart that has anything like that, probably take you maybe like 20 minutes or so. If you were trying to get every little piece. That's fine because I have a spell that takes 10 minutes to cast that I'm going to do. Okay. Oh, Providence is going to just start doing that. I'm just going to be helping by going around and being like, and here's one. Oh, thank you. And then also one. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me finish here first. Just Okay, okay. Next, where? There. Yeah. There? There? Okay. And Kayla, what are you casting? I'm casting Fine Steed. Oh. Right, I've got you... a horse seed. <laughs> well, you want your Fine Steed to look like this? Cause this yeah! is a, a phantom steed. Works for me. Ooh. I'll set that right over there. If you want a horsey, I mean, I have other. I, stuff. It, yes, it's going to be a war horse. Got it. I actually have a war horse. If you want to use that, I can either have a camel, an elk, a mastiff, or a pony as well. But I'm elk, 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 take the elk, take the elk. War horse. No, the other one's cooler. <laughs> and here's the. Here, here's the uh, elk. Oh, I remember that elk. Not that one. Not for the bag of tricks? No, it's a giant elk, I think. Oh, that's pretty this? cool, too. Yeah, that one's a giant elk. I think yours... That elk just... saved our life twice. It yeah. did. It did. <laughs> All right, so you want the you want the one with the blue hair. Got it. Yeah. Kind of matches your character anyway. Screw yeah, it. and it'll probably have like, it'll kind of look like a constellation of a horse. Ooh, ooh, it's maybe a, it's celestial. Ooh, ooh, maybe the mane as it flows has stars flickering through the mane. Ooh, I like that. Like every every part of this that has blue flickering through it has stars. I need to come up with a name for my horse. But yeah, so are you riding your horse now? Yep. Okay, this. And it lasts for how long? An hour, right? Uh, it lasts until it dies or I make it go away. Oh, yeah, that's right. 
Wait, it's, a, it's last, essentially it's, it's a so, familiar. I thought it lasts for 24 hours. No, it lasts oh. until it has zero HP or I make it go away. Okay. Yep. When the steed drops to zero hit points, it disappears, uh, leaving behind no physical form. You can also dismiss your steed at any time as an action, causing it to disappear. In either case, casting the spell again summons the same steed, restored to its maximum hit points. All right. Let me check something real quick. But yeah, uh, go ahead. Uh, what else y'all doing? Um, I'm going to look around and see if there's any dru uh, druid symbols that any other druids left around. See if they can tell me anything on our journey towards East Haven. Wait, you're looking for a who? Uh, like uh, druid symbols, like in the grass or anything, or dirt. Maybe someone left something. Give me a survival you check. Never know. Ouch. Seven. Not so much. You found that puddle that Fane was playing with. Okay. I believe you mean that Fane and Prue were being really impressive with? Actually, is there any water left in it, Fane? Not that I left. I don't know. Maybe it settled back in. <laughs> but yeah. Uh. Uh. All right. Uh, y'all heading okay. to the road. What are y'all doing? Uh, yeah. And who's driving the cart? I volunteer, John. I. <sighs> Probably John in the back of his head is like, "This is not a ship." <laughs> it's, not. it's not. It really isn't. Yeah. <laughs> Do, I'm uh, incapable of driving these. Um, show of hands who've used it, done this. Who has some sort of animal handling? <laughs> or something like that. Just guessing. Huh? huh? What? Animal handling? Mm -hmm. yeah, I want to who? try driving the Who's dealt with animals before? Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. We played with all of those wolves in the arena, guys. We've there's a there's an argument there's an argument that uh, John is an animal. There's an argument there too. Swear to God, <laughs> well, we, I mean all of us are, man. All right, fine. I'll see what I can do. Jesus, uh, I'm I'm gonna climb on top of the wagon. All right, Got I'll it. drive. I'll see how well this goes. All right, so we'll say for continuity's sake, there's new room up front for two people to sit. Uh, so, um, Arnis, you're probably more experienced with animals. And if you're really good, uh, if you want to teach somebody else to do it too while you're at it, that gives you I am proficient, to... so yes. Just because you're proficient at animal handling oh, chats doesn't okay. mean you're great at it either. That's true so, too, yeah. So if you if you start rolling good and you're doing it for a while, I'm gonna say for like for it's for everybody. Okay. Like you it's like so okay. like if you have a trait or something you're really good with tools and stuff, I'm gonna allow you to teach other people if they're interested in doing that. Or like aka if somebody wants to multi class into the same subclass as you are, it's easier for you to train them people in it. That makes sense? Yep. Yeah. So that's all goes for tools, uh proficiencies. Stuff mm -hmm. like that. Okay. You still have to qualify for those proficiencies if you not uh, for like like armor and weapons and stuff. Like you still have to qualify for that, but other than that stuff, yeah. Okay. If within story game mode, if you want to do that, I'll allow it. All right. Well, what is this Sam doing? doing? He's been very quiet this morning. Uh, he's just been studying Providence. Being a weirdo creeper and just staring at her the whole time? Mm, not really with a creepy look, more like a concerned look. Like maybe inciting her to see how out of control she is and how much not. Yeah. Or like distant concern, kind of like occasionally looking over. Especially are you trying to meditating. hide this or are you just kind of like, are you trying no. to conceal that? Okay. Uh, but Providence, he's not just if, like creepy staring. He'll just like occasionally insight, like 
what what is she trying to do that kind of thing all right uh, how about this you just roll uh a stealth check and you roll against providence passive perception i mean he's not trying to hide it but if you want that's what i was asking do you want her to notice you is my question he doesn't care okay All right, I will say if he's doing this the whole morning, eventually we'll do one of these things where Providence, every now and then, you catch Isam looking at you and he looks away for a second. Like one of those, like, every now and then meet. Like, you, happens like two or three times. Yeah, at least the first time it happens, she kind of just like turns his back, her back on him. Does he get a sense that she could put them all in danger at any time? Hmm. Roll an insight check, and I'm going to set a DC for that. Um, I'm trying to figure out what you've done with this new character and try to separate the two from Manny. But you haven't done anything. 16. She just seen her lose control in the last battle, and that was it. Yeah. And he's seen her in the arena before. So those two times. He would have seen Providence in the arena when she turned into the other person mm -hmm. and started attacking Jean. Yeah. So, yeah, with that, uh, that would have lowered the DC anyway. Uh, so you seen that happen, and then you've seen that one time in the arena where she started attacking everybody, including her <laughs> teammates. Uh, she so, didn't attack Jean. Thank you. I said, including her teammates. Yep. I guess what he's trying to figure out is there, does she think that there's a risk of that happening right now? Is it kind of like what he's trying to suss out? Mm, I'll tell you what, you give me a perception check. I'll let y'all handle that one. <laughs> Dirty 20. Yeah, you can kind of tell that she's worried about something. Um, she seems to be doing like a lot of the um, kind of meditative things you'd expect somebody trying to just like calm themselves down. It doesn't look very sophisticated. It's like she's never tried this before. You see her like trying like breathing exercises, just keeping her eyes closed. He just takes note. Like, he doesn't really react to it. He's just kind of watching. All right. Well, as y'all take off, we have Arnis in the front seat. Anybody with her in the front seat? <clears throat> I will. All right. Glitch should be up front. Everybody yep. else, will, I'll assume, will pile in the back, except for Fane. Fane's on the roof. Anybody on the roof with her? Uh, Providence is not going to be up there she's going to just sit in the back there's also there's also a spot for a sentry to sit in the back like like a little platform if anybody wants or stand if anybody wants to be back there too like watch rear well Kalis also has his own horse too yeah Kalis i'll just be own. riding like right next to the other the cars the yeah. other okay. horses I'm mostly uh, just letting the horse do all the work. So am I sitting in the rear rear uh, vantage point? Yeah, sure, I will. Okay. All right. Uh, Arnis, give me an animal handling check. Uh, I got Glit a 25. All right. Uh, Glitch and John, give me uh, perception checks. 23. Ooh. 16. All right. Who wants to roll me a d20? Got it. 11. 11. All right. 
Uh, you do very occasional like birds or, or um, a random rabbit or so. You don't really see any like because you're still going down through the pasture. I keep want to say pasture the plains down to the road because you're still in the plains area. Other than those random few birds and a random rabbit <coughs> here and there, you do not really see anything that would be threatening of any kind. As you're moving forward down to the road, we'll start at the front. Does Arnus and Glitch want to have any conversations? I don't even include Fane since she's on top. Fane, I forgot. You could roll in a perception check. I keep forgetting that you're on top. But, but I don't know how much you'd be looking for. I got a 12. Okay, you didn't see anything different from everybody else because no. they got like in the 20s. But uh, Arnus and Glitch, you can have a conversation if you like. If not, we can move on. Um, Glitch is watching Kalis. Trying to figure out how he's watching that Simic situation. Kalis isn't even whispering. holding reins. Like, this horse no, is yeah. just going. <laughs> so, like, and then he's like Actually, whispering to Arnus. Uh, this would be a fun. Tell him like, when he's going to hit something. Huh? It's like just whispering to Aaron and saying, "It's like, do we have to watch him? Are we till he hits something?" Um, or... Well, there's nothing really yeah. to hit right now, so I think he's fine. Three to the forehead when he goes by one. Uh, I guess Maybe we it's... should do that. Okay, you say so. Oh goodness! But that is how many horses do we have? We have four, all of them. Okay, okay, five including uh, Kalis's horse. Kalis has sent a message on Zoom, so you can kind of. I'll let you, Kalis. What I sent you, let you uh, RP that how you wanna. Okay. Uh, but anyway, um, sorry, Glitch and Arnus, go ahead. No, it's okay. So, finally out after two years. Yeah, he's just staring at the sun. Also, don't straight look at just, it. His eyes are closed. But... Mm. <laughs> I should invent glasses for this. Uh, okay. Glitch, what is your passive perception? Fourteen. I will say that with a fourteen, you can see as he's riding this horse, a glow under his uh, cloth that's covering his eyes. You have not seen that that often. Yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've seen it at all, actually. Other than I the have. other than the dream, the dream thing. Yeah, I'll definitely nudge Arvinus on that one. What? What? His eyes are glowing. Again? Yeah, well, he does that when he's using his powers. Oh, that's normal. Is this the first time you're seeing it? Huh? Yeah. Even you, Arnis, you've not seen it be constant like this, though. Okay. It's going on a little long, though. That's a bit odd. Normally, I, I saw a short burst of it, but not that. Okay, that is strange. Yeah, it will call out. <laughs> Kalis, you all right? Kay By the way, Kalis can hear every word because of his uh, abilities. Oh. <laughs> Well, I don't know that. Yeah, I'm all right. Okay. No burning sensations to your your face. Bitch. Uh, no. Him. No. Okay. Just he, he kind of like just, pulls the horse glowing. back, like <laughs> next to you guys, so he doesn't have to like shout. And you see that the horse kind of like looks up at you for a second. And its eyes are glowing a little bit. And then it like 
goes its head goes back to the front to like look forward. Nope, I'm not gonna question that. I'm just gonna keep driving. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> huh. All right. It's like, well, how fast do you think you can go? Talking to Kalis. Uh, let's find out. Oh no. Semi fast. Uh, so he like leans forward and. He says, go fast, but he's speaking in Celestial to the horse. And then the horse just takes off uh, at a dash, so 120 feet. And I'll fast. go for a little while, and then I'll like do a loop-de-loop -loop and spin around and come back, and then kind of just fall back into pace. You're muted. <laughs> I, I want to make sure I mute myself because I noticed in playbats that it pits up my breathing and stuff. So I don't want to. Uh, I got, can't keep remember. Uh, mute myself. Uh, uh, I lost my train of thought. Give me a perception check for your horse. Actually, no, it'd be your perception check because what I just said to you. Not 20 for 25. Very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, nice. As you head 120 feet, you get down where probably about 50 more, I'll say about like another 100 feet in front of you. Actually, how far can you, how far out can you see if you were able to see? Uh, probably 60. 60. Okay, another 60 feet out, you see the road. When you get that 120 feet. Oh. I'll swing back and be like, hey, found the road. You found the what? Found the road. So uh, when Kayla okay. stashed off, he went over a little bit of a hill. Mm -hmm. And he comes back and then he eventually comes back over the hill. And that's when he says to you. So All right, then. We're not far from the road. Hey, Providence. Which way do we go when we hit the road? Left or right? Guys, uh, you can see East Haven over there, right? Yes. So we're going that way when we get to the road. I'm blind, Fane. <laughs> well, you're not the one driving the cart. Providence just yells out the correct direction. Sorry, I can't think right now. Whatever the actual direction. You're, you're fine. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks, Pro. Providence. I mean, Providence. The horse kind of like looks up at Fane and it just trembles a little bit, the head down straight forward. Yeah, no, I'm glaring at you. <laughs> I corrected it. Yep. <laughs> so y'all take the treachery onto the road? Mm hmm. All right. All right. Uh, Kalis, are you going to continue like riding ahead or are you just going to stay in tandem with the cart? I'm just going to stay in tandem with the cart. All right, what about everybody else that's in the cart? Uh, what are y'all doing during this event of them driving? Sean. I, Tom, I'm, and I'm sitting at the... And, uh, you know, Mr. The Honorable is in there, too, if you want to talk to him. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still sitting somewhere at the back. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. You're in the very back. I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, so we have Providence, Isam. That's it. Uh, so Providence and Isam, you're in the cart with Mr. Honorable. Um, JR stepped away for a moment. Um, Providence is just honestly just doing the same thing she was this morning. She's just trying to um, <clears throat> just stay calm and just try and... Get a get a get a hold of herself and and what's going on with her and uh, she'll you know she'll be like keeping an eye out for making sure Assam isn't you know just creepy staring at her and everything. So remind me how you know 
Craven again? Uh, she kind of like opens one eye and stares at him. She's like, and just just sighs. Like her her meditation is not going. Uh, um, it's complicated. Well, I guess it's not that complicated. He um, was in the. Uh, he was in 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 the. I get. He was a prisoner, just like us. He was a slave, and um, I guess he had won enough fights that they gave him his own little hut or tiny house or, or whatever. Um, and one day he he asked to see me. And so I, I was, you know, escorted there. And he says we're like the same or something. He has these strange powers that he can like just burst out energy. Um, uh, you, your friend is... Sonna and Craven, uh, all a rare race, but so it doesn't seem like it because you're all so close in tech, isn't it? So I don't know how Asimov's got to be so many people in one spot. Well, tell me what's why, why what you are, what's what I'm, you I'm just, that's, I'm that's just what, a human. Surely, surely that somebody has told you along the way that you have angel blood in you. No, oh God. Are you going to be like just as crazy as Craven is? Or is, it, is like his whole group of people just like insane? Is that what this is? I'm just a regular human. I'm just, I'm just. Uh, Asam, would you, would you like to jump in here and explain to her what a Asama is? what you are did he how does he know that he's an smr he was tied up during that whole battle and didn't see him he just watched providence do a radiant conception he didn't see me do it though but your eyes glow right it wouldn't be obvious to him he wouldn't have any way of knowing well, well, I'll backtrack that then. Uh, but hmm. Isam's just gonna sit this out and watch the two together. I mean, you're in there with each other. No one's asked him for help. Nobody in the party likes him that much, so he's just kind of playing it cool. Well, this this is uh, this is the honorable or uh, Frederick, Providence, and you. That you're all the only three in the cart. So you he's can still, he's partake. just kind of like, he's just watching, just kind of. Well, so I mean, uh, he can so, do it too, and he's just a regular human as well. But you're gonna point at a song. Sorry, I'm bringing you in, buddy. He glares at her very, very <laughs> angry. <laughs> ah, so you you're an SMR as well. So no, he's uh, just a regular human. No, uh, you have the same powers as Craven, and I know what Craven is. But you don't seem like you can control yours. Right? No, no, I can't. Okay, so why did uh, the Craven want to see you? He went on some like crazy story about some prophecy or something. Oh, uh, the one that's supposed to stop his sister. Yeah, he said that. I don't really. I mean, like I said, he's insane. But the prophecy always also says there's one other that is supposed. Yes, uh, it can't be one without the other. Let me see. Here, he pulls out this little notebook and he starts. Yeah, Craven never shut up about it. Uh, the wind is. Yes. Can I see that, please? <laughs> he has personal notes. Yeah, can I see that, please? These are my personal notes and belongings. She just starts reaching for it. <laughs> give, me a, give me a slide of hand check. Oh, no, she's not being subtle. I mean, this is more for you to grab it. See if you can grab okay. it. 
That's a 14. So you go to grab it. You grab it, and because he meets it, so you're kind of like you're trying to pull it, and he's trying to hold on to it. So it's kind of like one of those little tug of wars. And in Psalm, you see this too. Okay. I just, I just what, what what's in here? What are you what are you hiding? This is, is it about my, me? This is my personal journal. Is it about me? It doesn't say your name. I just wrote down what it, you say crazy prophecy that you know I've, I've written it down the story that he had told me. What do you, what do you know about this prophecy? That siblings are supposed to stop his sister, his crazy. I don't sister. have a sibling. Well. Prophecies are how you interpret them then, right? Maybe he interpreted it wrong. I don't know. But, but apparently the person who's promised is assisted by a relative of some kind. It doesn't go... It doesn't, it's like it's all a prophecy's interpretation, you know? Maybe he interpreted it wrong and then I... I maybe I maybe I jotted the notes down wrong. You know, it's fine. Let's just close the book on it. He shoves it back in his pocket. I'm going to get that book. One day. It's my personal journal. I would give you the book if it didn't have all my other personal lives and stuff in there. Would you give your journal out to anybody? I don't have anything to hide. It's not about hiding. It's private matters. You see, like, Isam, like, actually, like, at this point, like, almost, like, choke on his own spit coughing. (laughs) 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 And I'm looking at you incredulously. I'm going to insight check that. That's a 17. All right. What do I do to contest that? Uh, whatever you want. Just a DC. Uh, yeah, I said it was a 17. He's not really hiding it. He thinks you're either completely... He's trying to figure out whether you're completely delusional or whether it's a bald face lie. And he <laughs> hopes it's a bald face lie because he'd have more respect for you if it was a lie. <laughs> So it'd be more like you inciting her at the same time. I mean, like, that's just his thought. Like, I don't yeah. know. Like, he's just kind of like looking at her like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she'll just ignore him. Fine, keep your book. But I'll, I'll, fine. I'll say, Fame, where are you looking at on your roof when you're on the roof? Um, Every time I see a rabbit or a squirrel or any like a groundhog, I'm trying to throw my lucky rock to see if I can hit it and then getting ready for the next one. And and at some point, I'll go over to the back and kind of lean my head over and be like, Captain X Parrot, I have a question because I think you're smart. You're muted. I told myself, I told me, you know what? Okay, never mind. I look up at you. Yeah, what's Welcome up? to my world, buddy. Um... <laughs> So if she's always behind me, if I came down there and stood facing into the cart, the only thing behind me would be the ground. Would she have to run really fast to try to keep up with us or would she just fly? Probably just fly. Okay. Uh... It's fine. We don't have to try it now. And I'll just go back to throwing rocks at things or not rocks, (laughs) throwing my lucky rock at things. That's it. That's all we want to talk about. All right. Yep. All right. Uh, as you reach the road, uh, give me another item handling check with advantage because you know you're doing it now because you're able to do it. No horses are. Uh, twenty. I actually trained horses, so twenty six. All right. Uh, glitch. John and Fane can roll me perception checks. Twelve. Sixteen. Glitch. My turn. I was muted. Eighteen. <laughs> Eighteen. 
It's just a uh, thing you did. Kayla, you can also roll for yourself. You're, are you speeding up, up forward up the road again, or what are you doing? Uh, no, I'll stay pretty much in line with the... I don't want to get too far ahead. So, you, so you're up front before... I'm saying, how yeah, far I'm up like are you up going? By the ho- I'm up by the horses. So you're like in front not... of the horses? Yeah. Okay. Well, you can give Where me a perception check, too. 18. 18. So you and Glitch pretty much see the same. Um, Fane, you're a little bit more distracted because you keep throwing your rock, even though you're trying to look out. But you're more looking for uh, stuff. So uh, roll me an attack with disadvantage. Yeah. Me? What am I attacking with? You're you said you're trying to hit a rabbit or a bird. Okay, so so the, we we said that would be an unarmed strike, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay, with disadvantage, that would be a. Don't your rock have a thrown property at all? Uh, no, it's it's not actually meant to be used to be thrown around. That's just something I do with it because it comes back. Um. That is a total of three, because I have a plus one on that. Lovely. Uh, Every so often, you get so close, but yet so far from hitting a bird that's flapping around. As Grandma used to say, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. What's a hand grenade? Yep. That's fine. We're all fantasy world. <laughs> it's, I believe it's close only counts in horseshoes and fireballs. Mm, might have been that. All right. Uh, I will say glitch, Kalis. Uh, John, you again, nothing from behind you catches your attention that might be. Actually, with your perception check, I'll include it with your breathing and stuff. You get to smell a nice comfort uh, uh, sea salt, like breeze coming from the waters. Nice. John's feeling a little bit more upbeat after that. Um, Kalis, I will say also since your uh, extra abilities for you being blind, you can smell the, the salt water from the sea from the ocean uh but you guys with glitch and Kalis, you do see a cart coming towards you at a distance probably like 120 feet out what are the rules of the road that's wide enough for two carts to go back yeah i know i'm i'm just generally asking the group oh i thought you're asking me take a Uh, side we're going to be on the right side. They'd be on the left. I'm guessing. Sure. Let's Uh-oh. try that. <clears throat> we can try that. And, yeah. Do you guys want me to shoot them? I can shoot them from here. No. No, no shooting anybody. Don't attack them unless they attack us. Okay. I'm going to hold an Eldritch Blast. No. I... Don't, even per- don't even show a side of force, please. Actually, uh, what, where's what? Jenny right now? She's <laughs> on the roof behind me. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> uh, glitch I'll, with, I'll uh, let the his... blast fizzle out, though. Yeah, I was it's like clicking his head. Uh, yeah, can we easily see Jenny then? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. That might be a problem. Your ghost. She's friendly. I've been training her. She already knows how to stay behind me. Get in the cart. (laughs) Please. It'll be fine. Pretty please. Pretty, pretty, pretty please. You with pets, you have to train them to be around other people. Otherwise, other people aren't gonna just assume that a ghost sitting on top of a carriage is safe. Please just what, get in the cart. What are you what are we gonna do when we get to East Haven? Are you just gonna I tell will... me to hide under a blanket the whole time? Yes. 
I don't think it, she'll fit under there with me. We'll figure that out. Yeah. We're going to have to we get enough problems. We're oh, have... oh, oh, it's a game. It's a game. Just hang off the other side that they won't see. Oh, that's a good idea. Do that. <laughs> uh, well, that's one way to get rid of that. But uh, you should know Fane has a negative strength score. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. I mean, what about an acrobatics check? But yeah, I'll I'll uh... be much more inclined for that, and I will go and try to hang off the other side. Uh, acrobatics check would be good for her to get down on the there, but she's still going to do a strength check to hold it. Kalis, take Fane with you and take off to the side. Oh, that's a good idea. Fane, jump on my horse. I can't. I'm already hanging. <laughs> it'd, it'd be even easier that way. Just drop down and you will fall directly on this horse. He, like, backs up. <laughs> Uh, I will attempt to go from hanging to jumping. I will just reach out and grab her (laughs) and pull her down onto the horse. (laughs) So I will say, are you reaching back to grab him or are you just jumping down, Fane? Um, I was just going to jump and try to land on it. All right. So he's grabbing you as you're trying to jump. So you can give me a dexterity uh, or actually an acrobatics check. With uh, vantage. Okay. Ooh. One of those numbers is a lot bigger than the other. Um, <laughs> that is- <laughs> I rolled a 16 and a 2. Um, 16 is so good enough. 18 S- total. 18. Okay, 18 total. Yeah, that's definitely good enough. Uh, as she as she's launching onto your horse, Kayla says, you're trying to reach up. Can't really see it. Uh, even though... Actually, the horse head is probably looking back, trying to see, <laughs> and you don't quite get her, and she's not reaching for you. She, you just feel her jump on the horse. I'm gonna like swat your hand away a bit. Say hello to Beast, and then we're just gonna kind of like stay on the side of the cart that they can't see. So, for contents, everybody. Okay, this is on this horse. This is that horse. <laughs> Fane is on the back, and then they have. Um, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna be because I asked Captain X Parrot about this. I am gonna be like rubbernecking to try to see if she's running like as fast as she can to keep up <laughs> or, or floating along. And then the, the little special is just kind of falling along. Okay, I'm. You'll you'll probably feel Fane's posture just slump a little. And just a bit of a... I want it to be like Scooby-Doo running. Yeah. Like, feet <laughs> just spinning. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, so you'll you'll be able to tell that Fane is, like, a- about five seconds after getting on the horse is just, like, disappointed about something. I'm sorry that your ghost is a ghost and flies. It's fine. It's a cool trick, I guess. Prove also- flies better, though. We'll we'll talk about where this ghost came from later. Um, she came from my cards right before I made it, so that everyone in the group is now immune to getting hurt from when they try to breathe water. Now you can you can try to breathe water and it won't hurt. I can do water stuff now. Cool. Mm-hmm. Keep going forward. I'm also Mambivious. You're As you... what? <laughs> yep. <laughs> as as the cards get closer and closer, um, glitch and all, you guys eventually see it's a family of half elves, just riding. Right. Like they have some some supplies. The kids are kind of like crawling or sitting on the. Thing and just kind of heading all the way, and it kind of just gives the, a nod at you guys. Oh, and, and this is gonna yep. be the same. Right. Yep, nod back. <laughs> Glitch, will you let us know when they're like side by oh, yeah. side? And then I'll slowly start like moving up so we kind of keep out of eyesight. Glitch, you here and. Actually, Arnis can understand it too, but specifically talking to Glitch, she's like, 
Yes. Nice to see one of our kind. Have a good day. And keeps on going. Yeah, you forgot what your race is? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. I was just going to look at Glister Cooker like, we're talking to you. <laughs> yeah, you go to his good day. And just, <laughs> and just keep moving. I said good day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't forget that's to watch he, he, Yeah, he, he'll shout out both, see, you know, she's both an elvish is like what you hear. Oh, well, be sure to stop at the Dole Dragon. It's a very nice little spot before you get into East Haven. Say Dole Dragon? Yeah. Don't mind that. Uh, we will. Thank you. And he keeps on going with the family. And I'm assuming, I, I'm picturing Kayla's just kind of <laughs> circling yeah, the car. just kind of like. Got it. And wave him up. <laughs> At some point, Fan is going to try to see if she can turn around in her seat just to see what, what the ghost does. If she <laughs> keeps following from behind the horse or if she goes and is now, I guess, in the same spot as Kayla's. Uh are you asking me, or are you just saying that's what Fane is doing? That's what Fane is doing. Okay. Because it's not going to change. <laughs> yep. it's, just, it's just attached to you. Yep. All right. But I'll just, yeah, I'll just start riding the horse backwards and using Kalis's back as a backrest. As <laughs> I'm watching this with this... Could have just had Fane lie down. The ghost would just went in the carriage. Hmm. <laughs> I'm dead uh, driving. You should have thought of that earlier. Yeah. Are we there yet? <laughs> I don't know. Are we? I don't know. No more me. Okay. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> we put the two word no. people to freaking drive. Okay. It's funny because no. he's blind. <laughs> <laughs> I know um, that you guys were in there for like a stupid long time, but have you been to a city before? Because this isn't a city. Uh, yeah, we're not even close to anything. Okay, it, technically, I haven't been off. Nope, nope. Mm -mm. I've been huh? to like teeny tiny little towns. Yeah, this is less than that, though. Yeah. We'll get there. Yeah, we'll... If they're passed, then we'll pull Fane back onto the carriage. And... Okay. I'm going to climb uh, back up and if I'm allowed on top again. Uh, oh, yeah. Any other conversations for Province and Assam before we move on to the next part? No, I don't think so. Not, okay. not yet. Um, John, are you saying anything as the family goes by? Uh, if they see me on the back, I'll wave to him. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Eventually, uh, you come up to a sign. It's just up ahead, it basically says. Oh, what I had in my mind what I was going to say. I should have wrote it down earlier. Uh, just ahead, the Dole Dragon. The last stop before entering East Haven. Take a load off. Is what the sign says. Kayla's, Arnis, and Fletch. Stop here for a bit. Before we continue. What time uh, you just see the sign Wait. right now. It's basically yeah. it's telling us up ahead. Okay, let's stop. You want to stop at the end? Was it like an end? No. Or something? Let's stop here before we get there. And Do you like a group chat? Up. Yeah. Ooh, meeting time. This is a... Yes. We can stop the wagon. 
Everybody can stretch your legs and we just figure out if we're going to stop here or not. All right. Guess what we should do. How long have we been going for? On the horses? Three uh, hours, four hours? It's, I'll say it's probably about noon right now, midday. Okay. They're here. Uh, mm -hmm. Providence, uh, have you actually been to this location? Would uh, you have? Would you? I would say, would you have stopped at this location? Or I was going to say East Devon. Oh, I, I'm asking you if we've been to this specific inn or the Dell Dragon. Well, Is there anything I, about East Devon that we should? I, know? Well, I I designed this place today. <laughs> So um, I'm asking you, you, as on your travels, would you have stopped here? So if you we, have stopped here, it depends on how much information I'm going to give you. Uh, if it's expensive, no. Yeah, it, if it was, if it's cheap. <laughs> um, so rooms cost silver pieces. Uh, food costs copper. I'd uh, say probably, we, probably, that's probably, we probably would have stopped for a meal. Yeah. For a meal. Uh, I will give you this. Uh, I'll D uh, I'll DM it to you two, and y'all can role play it as such. Okay. So if you just stop for a meal, and just this would be more or less of uh, um, what you know. Is she cute? If you want to make her cute, go ahead. <laughs> uh, I guess D &D. we're getting drunk. Everybody's hot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Prue. Do you think she's still there? Who, who, Haley? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the cute one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I hope so. So you guys have been there before? Their food isn't as good as what I cook, but it's pretty good. It's pretty cheap. It's like, you know, three or four copper, like, for, for a meal. Do I have any oh, money? So I do have money. You have money. Y'all looted those uh guys, remember? I don't know if y'all split yeah, it. Yeah, a little bit. No! Oh, you haven't split it. We didn't split it. Um, two of us split it. Two of us split it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think table. I I had like starting money, like for my yeah. background and stuff. That would have just been uh, with my stuff. But uh, remember, I was told you wouldn't you wouldn't have had any money because you were locked up. It got taken. Oh, well, then I have no money. Hmm. Oh, we don't have that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we got none. That's ten less that. gold. So whoever <laughs> looted and didn't share with other people is the ones that have money. Mm-hmm. Maybe we can work for food. I I that a thing I can, that people do. I can get you guys yes. some food, rather. Right. Uh, uh, if y'all want to, I could pay for everybody if you like. That yeah, would be great. Good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mister the Honorable. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Frederick. You know, it's it's fine. You can call me Frederick at this point. I don't know why you keep calling me the Honorable, but okay. I know this. I know it's a nickname, but you know, Frederick is fine. Okay, Frederick. Sorry, Chad. You good? Chad distracted me. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say flat out. <laughs> so you're going to say up. thank you, sugar daddy. Yeah, thanks, daddy. <laughs> Those are uh, words I've never said before. So as you're sitting there having this discussion, you do see three individuals walking from which way you're going. And that's where we'll cut to our break and y'all can think about stuff. All right. We went a little bit further than a halfway point, right? Yeah. No, we're exactly. at our halfway point. We're, we're exactly halfway. 
-hmm. right, so guys, we'll take a little short intermission. Go refill your, our uh, goblets and takers. Uh, if you're new in the channel, there's a reward you can do. Um, I forgot to shout that out at the top of the stream, but if you're just joining us, whatever, that is our stuff you can support the players in the game. Mm, got hiccups now. Did guys, we'll be right back. Enjoy some clips, and uh, we'll be back, guys. And I'm welcome stupid. back. We're back from our refreshments. Again, exclamation point rewards to see what you I can give out that to the and players. It didn't do anything. Exclamation point rewards. Well, I spelled it wrong that time. Don't look at me. <laughs> and now let's uh, gift it out a couple D sixes. Maybe There's I spelled cool... it wrong the first time too. Well, there's a, if you did it right after me, you might have uh, bought it. My, I think there's a little bit of a cool down on it, but I don't, I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah. Uh, I always forget what I have my bot set up to do. So, um, yeah. As you come back, uh, you got your D sisters from Knowledge. Uh, as you come back, uh, you're having this conversation, and you see down the road, probably like, I don't know, like a hundred, hundred yard, hundred feet out. Actually, we'll say 200 feet out because uh, everything's in feet in D&D &D world, I guess. Uh, I want to say 100 yards, really, but, you know, whatever. Uh, you can say that. Yeah, sure. A hundred, About 100 yards out, uh, you see from That's what you can tell. That's 300 feet. Yeah. Correct. I'm not good at that stuff, so it's whatever. Maybe, I'm a, maybe I should not be a DM ever again. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> you uh, Even from this distance... Um, You see uh, relatively s three small figures walking your way. Just on the road. Just walking on the road towards you as you're having a discussion. But they're pretty far like, out at the moment. Like small as in they, they look short, like they look short in stature or far be or small because they're far away. Well, sh even if you can tell that, uh, like, hmm... I'm not seeing this. I don't really care as much. I just figured it's good to. <laughs> I mean, y'all have pulled over and having a group meeting. That's what I'm saying. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I'll give a little bit more description as you wait for them to come forward. Okay. As you wait. But if you want to keep having a conversation, I just want to let y'all know that you see three figures just kind of walking on the road. I hmm. uh, will. Yeah. Well, for. Still gonna be here for a bit, then. Yeah, Faye and stand in the doorway of the cart. It I looked menacing. Find. Okay. Can I climb on the top and look menacing at them? No. No. They're trying to hide your specter, girl. Not if they want me to look menacing. Just you. We can have an entire town come after us if we bring a ghost anywhere. Well. But I'm pretty sure that thing is not going anywhere. So we're gonna have to I learn know, to live so... with it. But don't worry, Ms. Out. Jenny, they'll get used to you. And I will turn and stand at the door and just glare. Right. Okay. Uh just to be clear, Fane is not tall enough to fill the whole doorway, so if they see <laughs> Fane, they see her. <laughs> This is the plan we chose, and we're sticking with it. <laughs> Just trying something. We don't know. It's I mean, if Fane angles herself, she can hide the specter within the car. Yeah, but Fane doesn't want to hide the specter. She's doing bare minimum of what they said. Yeah. Which is typical Fane stuff. Which is amazing, actually, because normally that nothing happens. Normally, not normally, often enough you say things against her religion. Fane, don't be angry and hit people. Fane worships the god of blind rage. Well, I'm just asking you to <laughs> hang out in the cart. Okay. Right. So gonna uh, go you're going to have any more con Oh yeah, are you going to have any more conversations? No, we're just kind of waiting for these people to cross. 
Are you going to cross past you? Whatever? Yeah. You mean past yeah. you? Yeah. I imagine you kind of yeah. pull the cart off the side of the road, whatever. Mm-hmm. As they get closer, get closer, you notice um, the three elderly ladies, white hair. Uh, one has a, like a black satin, somewhat of a dress type deal. And it has a red, and the other one has like a greenish one. And it has these like little poofy hats. And they have uh, white hair. And it's a bunch of wrinkles. Definitely showing their age as they're continuing walking forward to you. Okay. They're just walking. They're not on horseback or anything like that. I'll just be polite as they walk by. Give them away. Any attention. I'm just not going to talk to any people. Okay. Oh, we want to be. Um. Oh, hi. Uh, hi. How are you today? We're the fine. Wood. How are you today? Oh, we, we, we're just, just great. Uh, How's the road up ahead? Nice and flat, like a road should be. Very nice. Well, you have a wonderful day. And they keep on going. As as I see them going behind the cart, because I'm standing at the back door, I'm just going to be like, are you guys, you guys all look older than Miss Arwen is, and she's like 130 something. Are you guys like 200? What do you mean by that? You guys must be like really strong to survive that long. And then I'm going to remember that they said to be menacing and I'm going to glare at them. Who has the highest passive insight? <laughs> I have 14. an 18. Oh, I have a 15. I have a 15. Oh, not me. 18. Get I have a 9. <laughs> I have an 11. Uh, it kind of makes sense for you, Sam, because you've like been traveling the world and stuff. Oh, 15. And been like, you've seen some shit, right? Even though this is like the main road, you get in the back of your head, it's like three old ladies just walking on the road. And they must be extra badass old ladies. I told you. But yeah, well, that's what you a, get. Have a good day, and I hope you get to where you're going safely. Is there like a is there like a nature check to see if they're hags or? <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> what? It's a is there a hag check special ability? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> just because they're old ladies doesn't mean they're hags. I just assume everyone's a hag. If it's if they're walking in threes, it's a magic hag number. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of sus. Um, yeah. As they're passing by, can Providence? Um, well, mine flash... are usually four, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> can Providence just flash a, a new ability that she has? Um, <clears throat> magic awareness. Okay. Uh, so it's the um, uh, as an action, you can open your awareness to the presence of concentrated magic until the end of your next turn. You know the location of any spell or magic item within sixty feet. Okay. Of you that isn't behind total cover. You got it. And if I sense a spell, I learn the school of magic behind it. Um, besides what you guys have, if y'all want to go through each one of y'all specifically, if y'all have anything. Um, Tattoos. Huh? Tiara. So, like, your magic awareness is kind of like a... Detect. It's like detect magic, yeah. But it's like a flash, right? It happens. It doesn't last. <clears throat> Just uh, one action. Six seconds. Okay. Six, six. So you get a flash from Jean-Pierre's uh, instrument. Do you have an in Did I give you an instrument, John? You did. You did. Yeah. 
have Lich, that. Lich, uh, do you get your wig back? Yeah, I have it. Yeah. But it's not on you, but, so it's probably in your bag. You get a sense of yeah. uh, glitch, something in Glitch's bag. You get a sense of, uh, like, you can describe yours as Sami, where you, you know, you're yours. His tattoos uh, uh, will be like glowing the ones that like come up the snakes along his neck. The glowing, <clears throat> similar to my kind of glowing? No. Uh, Kalis, uh, uh, necklace and bag. Yeah. Got the bag. Fane's rock. You, you already know about and... uh, yeah, my rock, my book, my cards, and just me in general. Cause I'm a, <laughs> <laughs> my magic okay. personality. Arnis is tiara. <laughs> and from these, uh, little ladies, they have it concealed. But with your magic awareness, you detect two magic. Or I'm sorry. Each one of them has a, some form of magical dagger, and they're like tucked underneath their uh, clothes in the back. Uh, who's standing next to me right now? I don't know. Y'all didn't establish any of that. I've kind of assumed y'all were in a huddle. Are we gonna kill them for the loot? Is that what's happening? <laughs> no. No. You need money. Did you say that out loud? No, no I mean, <laughs> that's not an Isan thought at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so can I tell if the can I tell if the daggers that they're carrying are similar to the daggers that Faint and I have been seeing? No. Then I'm not telling Faint. <laughs> uh, she's gonna turn. Who I would generally be standing near you. Okay, she'll turn to Kalis and she'll be like, <clears throat> "They have some some, some magic." I'm immediately going to divine sense. Also, uh, Jugan, do I pick up any magical aura or anything from Jenny? Magical aura? Well, I mean, like anything from my divine, from my magic awareness about Jenny. My pet ghost. I don't think they are magical. They're just a a ghost. So, so if it's a spell, um, I know. Well, the thing is, the card that gave it to her disappeared. So, what's. Hmm. I'll just. I'll, I said, just read I'll, out. I'll give you this. I'll give you this. You would you do that, and Kayla's doing. Oh, no, that's divine sense. Uh, uh, you, when you do that, you see like a tether from the special to fame. That's the only time you see it when that flash. Mm-hmm. You're doing divine sense, fey, fiend, or undead. Uh, celestial fey, fiend, or undead, good and evil, or if anything is affected by the hollow spell. Hollow. Hollow. What's hollow? Hollow. The hollow spell, like where things are like evil and consecrated. Okay. I thought it was like a hallowed ground, right? Yeah. Like, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Um. Hollow just... means holy, so. Like, like, evil, like kind of like. What type of like? I don't, I'm kind of confused by that. It's mostly just the Fae Fiend, Celestial, or Undead. Okay, that's all I'm going to focus on then. Uh, additional to Providence's glow, you have a glow from Assam now, but his is more like a shadowy, dark glow. Oh yeah, that one's already been. Oh, you already did it with. The, oh, yeah, you already did it once. All right, cool. When we, I'm, when we stand I'm mostly like focusing just... on the old ladies. I'm blocking out everything that I already know. <laughs> Ladies, ladies, ladies. No, not at all. Seem fine to me. Um, Nothing hinky dinky going on. Uh, Let me if you guys right. are done using your cool magic stuff, Fane would just be excited that there are people that old and would pull out her rock and be like, catch and throw it. Don't, 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 don't. Don't throw rocks at people, Faith. <laughs> well, how do we know that? We have to perceive that. I did or say, you say it out loud. I would say catch out loud in the hopes no. that they would hear and catch. Can we stop you in time? Can we? 
Probably I not. I, it's more of a catch as I'm throwing it. Yeah. Uh, Faye? Just wondering. Mm -hmm. As you throw in the rock, mm -hmm. the closest one you're throwing it to, whoosh, you dropped this. It comes back, though. I know. But she catches it. Yeah. She lets it go and then it goes Ooh. back. I see one of those before. She keeps on walking. I'm just going to like either turn. If, if the group is inside the cart, I'll turn around to them. If not, I'm going to like lean over to the side of the cart and just be like, I told you guys they're super strong because old people are stronger. And then I'll go back and just stand and glare again. Okay. <laughs> are we ready to go on our way? Well, we're going to head to the Dull Dragon, so you ladies have a safe and happy trip. May the stars guide your way. Kalis, give me a perception yes. check. I don't like oh. that. Doop -doop. As you say that, give me a perception check. 18. All right, I'm going to DM you something. Uh, to whoever's on my other side, I'd like to just whisper, we have to let Kayla stop talking. She's really think? awkward. You think? <laughs> just a dad? <laughs> so either John has to start talking more often or somebody else besides Kayla. I think that might have to be the case. Yes. Yeah. And don't look at me. Why? What are you doing? Uh, that I don't like being in their attention anymore. Yeah. All right, it's more for me then. Yep, you have fun with that. Uh, as Kayla says, uh, you hear, "Yeah, that's a very nice place. Enjoy yourselves." Nice. Were you Good ladies way. there? Kayla, let's go, go, go. Let's yeah, that's. And he actually kind of like starts walking up closer to them. Yes, it was a very yeah. nice place. What what kind of food do they serve there? I've Can't. never been to an inn like that. Kalis, what are you doing? So it's lunchtime now, so... It looks like they're serving rustic guy, corn, and sheep. Oh, shit. Uh, why does they get so hot? They, uh, they served... Uh, I can't do a woman's voice. <laughs> voice is extra sus, guys. I don't know. <laughs> Shut up. It's a man. Uh, go on, corn and shop cheese on the side. Yes. Uh, do an insight check on that voice. No. As he, as he, gets, he kind of breaks away from the group and is getting closer to them. Um, well, when he's about... When he's about 15 feet away. Um, How far out does your blind sight? Or I mean, I guess you can hear. You, you can hear them talking. So I guess you're walking towards them talking. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Providence is going to follow along. She doesn't want Kayla's going by himself. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get about 15 feet away. Um, Are you following I, them down engage? the road? Yeah, right. they're just, they're not just. I was like, my name's Kalis. Uh, we never caught your guys' names. What is he doing? I... You guess as good as mine. My name is Bildred. Uh, <laughs> Gretis. And Gertrude. As we found the Rhine Maidens. If they're more than 100 feet away, I would have hopped off the cart and tried to keep about 100 feet. What? Why are you following us? I just wanted to extend uh, the hospitality that other people have shown me in these past few days. Um, oh, uh, obviously, yes. Uh, well, you have a good day then. Hope you have a wonderful time at your stay at the Dull Dragon. Is everything okay? Oh, but of course. It's, it's a little hot out. 
It is a little hot for three old ladies to be walking by themselves. Do you need an escort? Nah, sorry, we'll, we'll be fine. Okay, well, I just don't know how far it is to the next way station. I just want to make sure you're safe. And he steps <laughs> closer. Um... You throw me off by way station. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Pit stop. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Sonny, it's the last one before you get to East Haven. East Haven is still about a mile away. Or, I'm sorry. About a day away. Yeah, in the direction that we're going, I just don't know what's that way. I just want to make sure that, you know, three elderly ladies walking by themselves are going to be okay. And he really emphasizes the three elderly ladies walking by themselves. Don't worry. We've been around a long time. We can handle ourselves. Ma'am, to be respectful, I don't, it's a long way to the next town. We do this trip all the time. Well. I wish you luck. And he's going to turn around and start walking away, but his hand will be on his hammer. Okay. Very nice. Uh, Province, you still looking? Uh, she's going to follow Kalis. Okay. All right. They continue on down the road. Kalis, what was that? I don't know. Their heartbeats got a lot faster. When they were talking, like they were lying, almost. Oh, they were they were carrying okay. magical weapons, magical daggers. Um, okay. You got their names at least. Well, Maybe it's a we good got mission. we got three old people's names. Ish. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Let's keep going. Okay. And... <laughs> uh, let's keep going. And Jean Pierre, will you keep an extra eye out behind us? Yeah, I'll keep an eye out behind us still. And let's keep an eye out just in case they did something ahead of us. Okay. Is anybody looking back at her now? or? Yeah, I mean, we're... Well, I mean, I can't, but <laughs> I would hope somebody's still, like, keeping an eye on them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> after, I guess, Definitely after... Looking back. Uh, uh, you say, so you're saying that after he tells you this and you look back to look? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's kind of like when somebody's talking to you about somebody in the distance, you kind of look at him while he's saying it. If he said it to uh, I'm saying it to the group. Yeah, so he as he says it to the group, so here, here's how I'm percept perceiving this. As he's telling you his group, this is when y'all kind of like start to look back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you when you start to look back, they're not there anymore. Hey, list, they're gone. Like, gone. Too like, far down. The no, like just not there. Like, like chili whack gone. Like what? <laughs> Thank you, Garner. <laughs> yep. <laughs> They're gone. Canadians got it. Did you say chili whack? <laughs> yes, chili whack. Chili whack. They mean gone, 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 gone for so long. <sighs> Get your Spotify account open and look. <laughs> <laughs> like they're up and disappeared. Like the, the, the changeling person. One second they're there, one second they're gone. I didn't know changelings could do that. I thought they just looked like different people. Well, she had the cards like you... Oh, like that specific changeling person. Uh, I'm gonna, like as soon one. as she says they're gone, I'm gonna be like on high alert and like listening 
to make sure I don't hear like footsteps approaching us or like uh, I want to make sure that they didn't turn invisible and they've like circled back. Hey. All right, people, mount up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I in, back in, up on in, the in, in. <laughs> just in, You're just in case. You're muted, Jugan. You're muted. Yep. <laughs> so I won't have you roll for it, Kayla. So uh, you don't hear anything like that. Okay. Just in case I go into the inside of the um, uh, the cart. I take the two panes off the walls and I put them in my portable hole. Uh, <laughs> I forgot uh, you put. Right I, I forgot I gave you all a portable <laughs> hole. You did do that. Yeah, I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay. All right. Everyone ready? Everyone in? We good to go? I'm. I'm gonna be on top trying to look out for any more old people that I might be able to play catch with. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> all right. Actually, good idea. <laughs> All right, as you push forward, not too far down the road, so I say about like a mile or so. Actually, football field's longer than a mile, ain't it? No. no. What? No. no. Okay. That would so, be yeah, it's 100 yards. Somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I say probably like a mile or two, maybe, give or take. You eventually. I'm, just, I'm picturing Jugan playing football on a field that's a mile long now. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I hate you God. so much. In about eight <laughs> minutes, we'll be offside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm done. I'm canceling game. No. <laughs> uh, my brain is mush, okay? Uh, a wooden, uh, as you approach, a wooden building with a brick roof. Uh, the dull dragon stands one story tall. This place? Uh, Providence and Fane would know. This place is regularly crowded. Lots of guests inside. And if you remember, uh, you can probably see this. Uh, the walls are covered in torches and chandeliers that glow with silver white flames in it when lit. But as you guys approach... hear nothing. It's almost quiet eerie. Ladies killed everybody here. Shouldn't this be like a little bit more happening? Yeah, like remember last time we had to have a picnic outside because it was so full in there and then and then they also got mad at that guy for swinging from the chandelier. Yeah, but that was so fun. I wanted to do it, but they wouldn't let us. Yeah. Oh, and Stop they had cannon. like the the, the two bars, the, 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 the two bards that were like dueling with like the banjos. The dueling banjo bards. They were so good. Everything is canon now. Pew, 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 pew. Did one have a mustache and a leather vest? How'd you, how'd how'd you, you know? <laughs> I think I've seen them. Yeah, this is weird though. No, seriously. like I mean, mm -hmm. this, this should be a lot more crowded. Okay, so I guess be on guard. Are the torches lit? It's y'all still outside. I'm just saying what yeah. you remember that you were when you were thus there. That was on the inside. If you remember, it was a nice uh, L-shaped bar. You had a kitchen. Well, actually, you didn't go into a kitchen, but you imagine there was a kitchen in the back, uh, and kind of like an open area, and then off to the back was all the rooms. Hmm. You, well, do you want me to go knock the, on the door? Let's just all go. Okay. Go in, be on guard, mm. but let's go. Robin is like, their hand on the great sword. Yeah, I was like, uh, as I swing down off my horse, I get my hammer out. Okay. I'm just going to walk up and open the door if no one stops me. Hmm? I'll be right behind Vane, I guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. As much as Providence lets me. Trust you. Mm -hmm. You open the door. Or it, it, nobody stopping her? No. Mm -hmm. No. I'll activate my magic armor. 
Finn, give me desert. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and Finn blows up. <laughs> oh, uh, you walk you in. Pieces, you can put me back together. Uh, <laughs> you walk in. All the tables, the bars. There's still like maybe leftover food, leftover drinks hmm. that like maybe somebody was there. But other than that, it's nobody. You don't hear a sound, see anybody. Hmm. Hello? No response. Do, I, do any of the plates of food look like they're only lightly touched? Give me a perception check or investigation check. That's the, I think I'm bad at those. Either, either or, either or, I don't matter. Uh, yeah, perception is a plus one at least. Uh, so that's the total of eleven. Eleven or a nine uh, if I have to do an investigation. Uh, you find um a half-eaten croissant. On one plate, and then on another plate, you find uh, three slices of thick cut bacon. Cool. I'm going to eat those. I'm just mm. going to shove the bacon in the happy <laughs> croissant and. Give me Constitution Save. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as, as Providence goes in, uh, she's going to cast Thaumaturgy and just start yelling out Haley? Uh, Haley! Faye, I will say when you eat these <laughs> or eat them, it's like. It's not they don't taste bad. It's just they taste like they've been sitting out for a while. Yeah. So it's probably a crunchy like, croissant. Yeah. So it's probably been sitting out since like like five or six in the morning. Okay. Not quite fuzzy bacon, so we're still good. Yeah. Okay. And you do thaumaturgy, Providence. Mm -hmm. Get no response. Just keep telling Haley. No response. I should mm -hmm. start walking into the kitchen. I'll I'll follow. You walk into the kitchen. Uh, I'm trying to think what all. Uh, you see like a little tub of uneaten pastries that looks like they were freshly made that morning. Um, everything else is like the kitchen's kind of like in disarray. Like somebody dropped it and left real quick. Give me your perception checks. Whoever's in the kitchen. I, I got a 21 off of a 20. Uh, I got a 7 off of a 2. Okay. What is everybody else doing right now? Is everybody falling sick and together or are y'all exploring other parts? <laughs> Just uh -oh. to be clear, Providence is grabbing the pastries. <laughs> you grab. I want to go. Is, you said there was an... It was, was an inn too, right? So I guess yeah. We'll so I want to go rooms. check the rooms. The rooms, yeah. Check the rooms for sure. Rooms, yes. Let me check them. Uh, you find Parvins. You there's about eight uh pastries left from um, seven. Correction, seven. <laughs> she ate one immediately. <laughs> um, yeah, right. If there are any herbs out, I'm gonna be trying to pocket those, preferably herbs? with. Value. Yeah. Give me an investigation check. Well, actually, I gotta give you something for your perception check first. Hold on, you might not be grabbing that yet. Uh, what about people went to check the rooms? Who was that? Yeah. Okay, that's me and John. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, the rooms are open. Like every door. How many doors? Yeah. Uh, there was four rooms, and then there's like a master suite, and then there's another room kind of off to the side. You probably gather it was probably the owners. Um, okay. in each in each of the rooms seemed to be like a struggle. Hmm. Is there like, is there blood? Not... You don't find any blood. Nothing like that. It's just kind of like table or like a chair turned over, sheets everywhere. Almost kind of, almost kind of looks like somebody like 
turn this thing over at first at first glance it looks like somebody turned it over started looking for stuff but you realize the drawers are not pulled out it's just kind of like chair and table like been turned over you probably gather more like it would probably have been a struggle instead of somebody searching for something gotcha okay I'm gonna go uh, to the what seems like the owner's room and just search it in general. All right, give me an investigation check, and Kalis and Arnish, you can give me an investigation check. Okay. Oh, Kalis, you can't see. Yes, yeah, I well, I thirteen. I'll help Arwenus. I'm gonna be like, hey, will you like mm -hmm. look for like drag marks or? Okay. Okay. So I, I'll give you the help action so you can roll at advantage. Eight. 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 Thirteen's my best one. Mm, so I'll give you, John. You don't you don't find anything as far as like the struggle and stuff, but you do find a desk if you want to search the desk more. Yes. With your eight. So give me another one for the desk. Uh Kalis. Oh wait, wait, sorry, Arnest, what'd you get? Mm -hmm. I got a thirteen. Seven. Thirteen. Uh, you can probably see like a couple indentations on the uh wood floor of like like some, maybe somebody's back of the heels were dragged. Okay. Um, but you do find uh, these rooms four gold pieces. Okay. Eight silver pieces. And seven copper pieces. John, what did you get for your desk? Seven. Oh, I didn't realize the psalm disconnected. I think it just happened. Yeah, it, it just happened. happened. Okay. What? Uh, what did you get, John? Seven. Uh, you don't really get too far because you realize the top drawer is locked. Mm. How are you doing in there, John? Drawers are locked. I'll walk in there. How locked? Can't open them. They're locked. I'm just going to, like, pull on it. Give me a strength check. Ooh, 13. Like you feel the, um, the wood cracking as you do it, but it doesn't come free. Do you want me to Glitch. Pull again? <laughs> uh, we'll come back to it. Glitch and Assam, what are y'all doing? What are y'all checking? Just real quick, are, uh, I'm sorry, I'm having technical difficulties. Are all your cameras off, or is my uh, thing messing up? Are you disconnected? We all, we all simultaneously turn our cameras off. Yes. <laughs> No, no. Uh, you you disconnected and reconnected. Okay, weirdly, like until you talk, your cameras didn't turn on. But then, as soon oh, as wow. each of you talk, then okay. Mm -hmm. that was weird. Weird. So everybody speaks, so he can see. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the psalm and glitch doing? Are y'all ch checking the main area, the Bonda Bar, or what? what I'm gonna check out behind the building. Check out around the outside. Building? Yeah. That's what I want is is the psalm going with him or are you what's the psalm doing? Do you want him to come with you? I was thinking about looking for a seller too. Okay. You know, I just kinda want I just saw everybody go inside and I just start looking around outside and Uh so, you go around back I'm, glitch. Is there um, a seller or not? If there's not, I'll go with glitch. You, well, Uh, so I'm give me an investigation check and glitch. You walk around back, you see like a wood stack, wood piled with like wood. Um, looks like a pen was supposed to be like some horses, where, like people keep their horses when they come. It seems to be empty. But you don't yeah. really find anything that interesting out back. Hmm. Uh, Assam, what'd you get? A one? You you find a, a couple balls of spirits behind the bar, if you want them. 
Because it is a bar. Even with a one, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. It is a bar. If you care to have a couple of all the spirits. <laughs> Why not? Uh, Providence, you got what? A 14, right? No, I'm sorry. Uh, you got a 20, right, Fane? That's what it was. I got a total of 21 off of the 20. 20, okay. Got it. Uh, in the back in the kitchen, mm -hmm. you see as you're scanning around a rug that is misplaced. It's like it's not supposed to be lined up like it's supposed to be. Okay. Um, I'll just be like, hey, Prue, there's a rug there that looks kind of funny. Also, do we, do you see any herbs in here? Uh, I found some pastries. Uh, mm. <clears throat> she wipes some crumbs away from her. Seven of them. That's cool. I found one out there that I stuffed with bacon. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Uh, yeah, what, what do you, sorry, no, no herbs. What, what else did you find? A rug, but I guess no, no herbs. Okay. Um, if I grab the rug and pick it up and throw it over me like a cape, what's left? Hey, that's, that's been on the ground. It's probably really dirty. I'll clean uh, it later. But you, you find a uh, trap door. Ooh. That you probably gathers to the sailor that, a uh, sa seller that uh, someone was looking for in a completely wrong spot. Yeah. Um, should I knock on it now, or should we get the others? I think we should get the others. Okay. Maybe Look at us being monster. not impulsive. Yeah. Or maybe there's a note that says, please find attached the deed to Dull's Dragon. Have fun owning this place. It's yours now. Happy birthday. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you want me to go grab the others? Sure. Um, she just while, starts yelling. Yeah, while she's <laughs> going, actively looking for some 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 herbs, I need them for a spell. Okay. Uh, I want to let Kalis know what I found, including the gold. How much you need? Copper. How much you need for the spell thing? I need ten gold worth of herbs, coal, or incense. Oh, it's for your, uh, yeah, it's yeah, for your... Do you need fire. incense? <laughs> I, I'm i not asking you guys for stuff. I'm taking okay, money and not sharing. <laughs> so that I can buy some later. <laughs> I have incense. I, I appreciate it, though. <laughs> you find yeah. one gold worth of herbs. Ooh. Mostly because the rest of the herbs are broken and scattered all over the floor. That's fine. I'm also not going to keep the uh, the cape on because it doesn't have anything to tie itself in place and it's probably too thick. That's probably wise. But at this point, Providence is just using thumb and turkey to call out for everyone. All right. Uh... I'm assuming glitch. You don't stay out back. You don't really find anything that interesting. No, oh, yeah, he'll the just horses. Get the perimeter, other, come back. Other in. than the horses are gone and stuff like that. Yeah. But. And then right. I don't know if you saw in chat, but I did leave my horse out front, like kind of keeping an eye out, and we could communicate telepathically. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll then if that's the case, I'll out. For what I told you, it'd be the horse's vision, not yours. Huh? For what I said to you, so you'd be using a horse's vision, not yours, if you're going to be a, a distance from it. I'm just going to say, if you're riding it, what I told you before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, are you trying to re-pull the drawer? Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna give it one more yank. All right. Uh, since you've slightly broken it, I lowered the DC a little bit, so you want to try one more time? That will be an 18. 18. Uh, for the second pull, you just sling it almost, sling it off. You know, it's all you can do to almost because you realize how much you broke it before and then you pull it off. Uh, a couple of papers go flying there, John. I got it uh, open. Thank you. Uh, and then I'll, I'll grab the papers, uh, skim through them. Um, are, 
we'll head over to where Providence is yelling. Uh, along yep. with those papers, a queen pouch kind of comes out too. A quick peek in there. Uh, Unless you well, take the time to count it. Let's be like, you can see some gold and silver pieces in there. Okay. Yeah, I'll just put a coin pouch somewhere in my... Uh, All right, have that written down. But yeah, um, uh, papers. Anything like important, or just like the business notes? Uh, one of them is a deed to the place that is signed. Uh, it has under the name owner Haley. Uh, Luff. Yeah, I'll put it in chat. Okay. Unless, unless uh, my only two friends have it already. Was it Loftheart or something? No, it's Lothar. Lothar, thank you. Yeah, Lothar. Really Lothar. There you go. Hmm. This is definitely the deed to the place to this individual I just sent you. Um. Yeah. Uh, Glitch, hey guys, we and uh, we no, I'll say about this. Rested. Sorry, I was going to say about this time. Y'all, y'all hearing the thaumaturgy coming from the kitchen from Providence. But Sam, what are you going to say? Sorry about that. That's okay. Okay. But y'all hear the thaumaturgy of Providence calling for you guys. Yeah, I'm going to head that way. Same. You guys are really patient with her. <laughs> Just screaming. We're just it's I'm coming. <laughs> I think I think it's because she's next to Fane so often that she just seems normal. Oh, sure. <clears throat> uh <laughs> what'd you find? Oh, there's a trap door. There's a door there. Also a fancy rug that we should use to decorate our cart. Okay. We just have to beat all the dust and, and crumbs out of it. We found signs of struggle. Yep. In all the rooms. In the in the, the bedrooms had signs of struggle? Yeah. I come down a little bit after these two and I'm like, I found the bead. Oh nice. <laughs> Did you I find some pastries? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I mean okay. we should probably try and give the deed back to the owner. I'm the owner now. I have the deed. That's how this works. I no, I, <laughs> I don't think that's even how I know that can, that's not can, how paperwork works. We own works. the place now. Can I be the cook? I'm gonna no. cook. Okay. What's okay. in the trap door? Uh, we this didn't know where we are now. Called for okay, you but before we go down, guys, really delicious pastries. I want one. Here you go. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna eat a pastry. really good, especially if you find bacon and shove it in it. Okay, can I have a pastry? But we should. Oh, see what's in uh, the trap door. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Um, I will Open. go. Yeah. I'll look. I'll look in. What do my orders? Oh. Oh. Uh, look. <laughs> Let me knock on it. I pull harder. <laughs> this time. There's a little bit of give, but it's not like it's like something. Actually, what am I thinking about? Sorry. As you go to pull it, as you look down, well, it kind of makes sense for your character. As you go to pull it, I think I should have told you guys there's a padlock on it. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, 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 here, I got this. Oh, you can, you can smash it instead. That's fine. I was just going to shoot it. Oh, if you want to shoot it, go for it. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Maybe wait, wait. not a good idea. Why not? We're too close for that. Well, well, just don't stand on the door when I blast the padlock. Is anybody wait. good at, like, breaking into things? I bet Manny would have been good at this. 
Manny would have been Manny good. Manny was, yeah. Manny mm. would have been good, but he's not Let's here. not talk about yes. Manny. It's okay, Kayla's. It's okay. Um, I'm I'm pretty I good can, at that, too. I but can I don't try. Pretty sure there would have been a reason it wouldn't have worked, so. Did Glitch, can, Glitch, Glitch, can you make something? I got Thieves Tools. I was like, I also have Thieves today. Tools. I don't, but my... I'm good at... Remember this pulls out a crowbar. I also I just... have Thieves... Oh. Yeah, I was like, here's my hammer. <laughs> Uh, I hand the thieves tools over to Fabian. You got this, buddy. I believe I'm, in you. Do it. Have. I'm, and then she casts I'm guidance on Fane. And sleight of hand. <laughs> Me too. Maybe we. Are you proficient in thieves okay. tools? Um, in thieves, um, I don't yes. think thieves. Oh well, then glitch, like, glitch you do, do it. it. Oh yes, I am. You yes, glitch you do it. Okay. I am oh, proficient in thieves tools. Okay. Well, too bad. Glitch is doing it. But you gave them to me. Okay, fine. Well, you can have those for a later date. They're yours now. Happy birthday. Okay. I'm. Thank you. It's not my birthday, but it's, I'm taking them anyway. Today it is. Glitch. Glitch. I believe in you. I always have. I also believe in Fane, but I also believe in you. You can uh, do this. Not 20 for uh, 26. <laughs> also, you get guidance. So, just, so you know. Without that an or... issue. <laughs> yeah. Without an issue. Um, it's a three, so 29 now. <laughs> Without an issue. It's like, as soon as he sits it in, anybody else thinks the lock was probably just barely close. But Glitch, you know that you had to expertly maneuver the tumblers and clip the right one to unlock it. But you dealt with this lot before. You've seen this type before, and just click real quick and easy for you. But knowing, but you know, anybody else to try it, it probably been super hard. But everybody else just thinks the lock is unlocked. Was unlocked already. Good job, yeah. buddy. Was it even locked? Kayla, Kayla, you would have heard the tumblers tumble, but yeah. yes, <laughs> I could have done that. Lift up the door. Good job. Yeah. Now uh, I lock it. I, I'll take out the lock, lock it again, and hand it to Fane. Yay! I get a free lock. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm adding that to my inventory. That's fine. So Providence will lift the trap door open. No, give it a little listen. You hear nothing, but Kalis, which are. Hmm. I'm going to DM you. The love you have. Is it dark in there? Double actual keen senses right now. <laughs> Technically. Oh, <laughs> uh, is it? Probably. Well, yeah. It could be both. Who's got dark vision? I do. I can I see. Sure don't. I can give uh, you some if you want. Same. Uh. 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 Same. Assam has all of the dark vision. All of it. Every yeah. bit. Oh. Some owns the dark vision. Pretty much. Kalis kind of like takes a step <clears throat> back for a second. You good, Kalis? It's like death down there. Like fresh death or like old death? Or death personified. So yeah, it's like it's fresh enough where Kalis can sense it but not enough where it's starting to smell for like normal. Type though. Uh, he's gonna. Is it like steps down? Is it a ladder down? It steps down. Yeah, steps down, not ladder. Uh, he's gonna go down first. It is pitch black. Does it matter to him? Um. Yeah. Okay. I'm just um, letting everybody know it's yeah. pitch black. I am going to use pass uh, dancing lights at, which is a cantrip and. Kind of let them float around. Little little tiny fl flames just come out, popping, and they're just dancing around. As they start to get down. I will not it. give you all dog vision. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be you, this, okay? I've never used this. <laughs> uh, as the light starts heading down the bottom of the stairs, Arnis, you see a hand at the bottom oh of the stairs. God. Is it oh doing anything? Is it attached to anything? No, I mean, it's like where the 
where the where stairs the and is. where. The, so as you're going down, there's brick walls along the stairs as you go down, mm-hmm. and on coming like around where the brick wall ends, there's a hand. You don't. It extends past the rock wall. You don't. Um, I'm I'm gonna be like right behind Kalis. Our witness is gonna turn away and go. Oh my god. Um. Really? There, there, there's a hand. I mean, everybody sees this if they're looking. Yeah, it's right there. Mm. I it's got two of them. It's glowing lights. I'm going down. You'd think Palmer after find them. two years of combat, you'd be used to hands being everywhere. Yes, but in battle, not. Unless Is it battle. attached to anything? I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to know. Okay. Those are handy balls of light, though. I'm going to stay up and just guard the rear, I guess, in case anybody else wants to go back down. Is so, there anything living down here? Anything breathing? Am I having to, like, step over bodies? Can you see down here right now? I have blind signs, so anything within 10 feet of me, I can see. Okay. Um, as you get down, that hand... It's like cut off here. It's just laying there. And then as you move into the cellar, one body, two body, three body, four body, five body, six body, and then seven bodies are piled down here in the corner. Some cut up a little bit. Bane, did you come down here with me? Yeah, I, and if it got too dark for dark vision, even then, I would have a hand just kind of on your on your belt or on. It, it's just dark. There's no light. If you, yeah. uh, uh, well, actually, Arnis is. I mean, Dancing if you, lights. Yeah. yeah, but you can only you can only send them where you see. So if you're staying up okay. the top, I'm gonna follow reluctantly behind. Okay. Oh, if if, uh, if, if you get down low enough, he can put a yeah. light in like pretty much all four corners of the cellar down mm-hmm. here. But piled mm-hmm. over in the back corner, as you get down the stairs and look back, piled in the mm-hmm. corners where you find all these bodies. Um, if I can see it, I'll probably be trying to do a quick look to see if any of them are Haley. So, yes. Uh, thrown on top is Haley's body. You also okay. see an orc, hmm. male orc, uh, young female halfling. Actually, these are couples. I mean, you probably gather a couple because they have wedding bands on. Uh, a young female halfling, a middle-aged halfling. A uh, there is another female that would have been, well, she still is. Just her throat is completely split from ear to ear. But her face was a stunning female human. And then you have two... Uh, you have a elf and a half-elf. Okay. And as Does you... Does Haley look like... Oh, sorry. Well, <clears throat> as you're looking at these bodies... Um, even with your passive insights and stuff. There's nothing such. <laughs> There's nothing for the sensey sat scene to make sense. Glitch. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy <laughs> son of a bitch. Um. I lost my train of thought. Oh, as you're looking at these bodies, whoever did this, or what happened here, they stole the jewelry. Emotional damage. Uh, they stole the jewelry on. The couple has their wedding bands on. If you want to go digging into bodies, it's up to you. You might find more stuff, but you probably gathered that 
you found coins up there. So nothing was taken. They were just um, murdered. Until I got here. I'm going to take all their stuff. Yeah, I was going to say. I'm <laughs> except, except the wedding band. I respect that. Uh, um, uh, I do not. I will take the wedding band. Is there... Do I'll not bat your hand if you try to. steal that's, that's from the dead. I'm taking gifts because <laughs> apparently it's my birthday. No. Guys, you just please. said it was my birthday. I, uh, Fane, please. We do not steal from the dead. But we took weapons we and respect. stuff from the people that we killed yesterday. That's... This is different this is a murder what yeah clearly done by an amateur not even 10 like what do we, number do we know that is they were going yeah. on here i um, oh it's mr there was i want to look problem. around i want to make sure yeah. <laughs> that like there's oh kayla gives me a natural 20 thank you kayla hey. can i get a shout out for kayla too Welcome in. They just found a, a tavern where everybody was brutally, brutally murdered, and they Ooh, just found okay. the sailor. But, like, there's... Obvious, it, is there, like, blood everywhere? Is there, like... Oh, yeah, it's reeking of blood. blood like, written in... Oh, like, is, are there, like, things written in blood, or... Does this look ritualistic, or just brutal? Brutal. Oh god. This it looks like if Haley was on top, would it be safe to assume she was killed last? Last. Uh the honorable the honorable. Got me saying Mr. it now. The too. <laughs> he says Frederick. it's like uh, looks like they struck in again, whoever these people are. Again? Would it happen to be three old ladies? Nobody knows. They just mass brutalization. This is their trademark. What we gathered is... Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Sam. Go ahead. Does Haley what? Keep going. No, that's fine. Whenever you're done, I just want to know if Haley was killed last. Like, which of the bodies was killed last? But whenever you're done. That's a very good question. You would literally have to do a medicine check on everybody to really figure that one out. You can definitely tell she was thrown on last, but mm -hmm. um, this is what they do. They it could be a tavern. It could be somebody's house. You kill the bodies, stack them in the basement or cellar. Wait, 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 wait. Did they kill the bodies or kill the people and then stack the bodies? Or did they take them into the cellar and then kill them and then stack the bodies? I don't see any blood up here. That's what, was, that's what I was getting to. Is it just seemed like they clean up after themselves and just do the deed and leave. Hmm. Do the deed it's, like... It's one, like... Of, it's one of the many investigations that we've been trying to find out here in the Order of the Goblet. Um, trying to solve this mystery. As far as we know, we don't have any active suspects because they're so... Hmm. How do you say, uh, thorough with the cleanup? Hmm. I think we should burn this place down. Yeah, Why would you burn down minutes. the place that has all the clues? Yeah. yeah Did you find any clues? Um, I was about There's to look seven. through the I guess I'm going to be doing 3,000 medicine checks. On <laughs> <the entire laughs> um... I, I was going to say, as soon as Kalis is, like, 10 feet away, if he was wandering around the cellar, I was going to start going through the bodies to try to see if there was anything in there. I would have already started doing that. Yeah. Can uh, I do the I, I, I must. I must uh, aside must, uh, must with your paladin friend, uh, taking stuff from the dead is fairly frowned upon, upon from the gods. And yes, you can make your medicine chats. How many do I have to make? Just make one. All right, I'm going to guidance myself. That is a natural 20 for a 25 plus 3 for a 27. Or 28, sorry. 
Okay. Yeah. Um. Mostly, most are the the wounds. Some sort of daggers. There's a few with really odd shaped bite marks. Never seen anything like this before. And it's not two puncher holes, it's like weirdly shaped bite marks. It's not beast marks. Right. It's definitely, I guess it will have to be like human stylistic bite marks, but it's just something odd about them where they're not tr like, it's, it's like almost all of them are molars. That makes sense. Hmm. So it's not like an animal bite. It looks like it was a humanoid bite. It, it's shaped like a humanoid bite, but the teeth are weird. Like they need to, to have a good dentist. <laughs> like they were dentures. <laughs> so they're well, basically, probably it basically which are natural 20, they look they're like the size of molars, but they're also pointy. Like, okay. Like mutated molars. Pretty much. Uh, and uh, am I able to figure out who was probably killed last and would have seen the most? Yeah, uh, even with a natural one, it's hard to say, but let me pull it. Uh, the orc was probably the last one because. Uh, he was built and looks like he probably can handle himself more than the others. This he twice twice the huh? Uh, what did you say, Providence? I said you have to kill him twice with the relentless with the uh, relentless endurance. That is true. That's true. Does he have bite marks on him? Uh, that severed arm is his. Yeah, and uh, he has bite marks and stabbings. Probably gathered with your natural 20 that he was the last one to take down the, whoever it was. Multiple, probably. He's going to pull the orc into the corner and he is going to cast Speak with Dead. Yeah. Creepy, but cool. Okay. What does that he's look gonna like? Pull out, he's going to pull out some of his grave dirt, make a circle while he's like, whispering very quietly uh i don't know if anyone would be like listening to him that closely but he'll be whispering something you'll occasionally hear something about uh queen of night keeper of the spaces in between and then he'll pull a little flower out and uh like a black kind of a black flower stick it in the uh the corpse's mouth and then its eyes will also like start to turn black the like flower will ignite and kind of disappear with like some smoke coming out and it'll slowly sit up. He's in her way for questions. He's not going to talk to you. <laughs> oh, I think you were on mute. I was not on okay. mute. Oh, you're talking about JR? Okay. Uh, let me pull up the spell description so I can remember what it does. Uh, it's JR, or, or, sorry, not JR, John, Fane, are you still trying to loot the bodies even though you're cautioned? Uh, yes. I highly right, advise so... not to do that. But, all right, go ahead. Uh, I guess it gets. Five questions. Um, five questions. Okay. You get five questions and they answer to what they know to the best of their ability. Yeah. Uh, I, I said, Asim will study him for a moment, walk in a short circle on him. I don't know if anyone else is going to help to make suggestions or whatever, but he'll start with. Um, describe what happened here and how you died. That's two questions. Zero questions. I, 
Uh, Zero yes. questions. <laughs> it's like two questions in one. So well, yeah. not not technically because what happened there is what killed him. I guess uh, maybe what would it, would it be make more sense to say describe what happened in the events that led up to your death. That's smart. That's better. Yeah. Okay. Stopped here on my way to East Heaven for a bite to eat this morning. And came three beautiful women. None like anybody I've ever seen before. Obviously, she grabbed the attention of all the patrons in this place. Even the ones that didn't think they liked women started to like women for how big, beautiful these were. I was sitting in the corner watching Cora Cotton for my own reasons. And then it just started happening. These three women that came in could change their face like or somebody changes clothes. So much blood and brutality. Lost my arm in my final stand. There's just too much for me to handle. He's going to look at the others to see if they're anywhere close or I'm uh, around <laughs> Providence would actually kind of be following you around Arwenus will kind of scooch up a little closer so the lights are prominent he doesn't he doesn't uh, he doesn't say anything but he motions in case either of you would like to ask a question Um, did they say anything as they were they, killing people? They, sorry, go ahead. Are you actually asking that? No, I'm like asking Esam before I ask the corpse. So you whisper it so the corpse can't hear? Got it. Yes. Describe to us more, please, what the women were doing, how they looked, and if they said anything. Is that too much? Like I said, they would change. There looks like somebody would change clothes. And in my last seconds, I believe I saw their true form. They were bald headed, white skin, teeth sharper than my own. As he gestures down, half his thirds ripped out from it. That's all he says. Um, hey, Isom, maybe ask him what kind of weapons besides. Yeah, see if, see if they use daggers. Did they use any particular weapons like daggers, for example? Daggers, makeshift weapons from the kitchen, knives, but their primary source with daggers. Yeah, I think I think two of the people we saw. Oh yeah, the old ladies are one hundred percent the culprits. Okay, that's three questions, right? Yeah, got two more. Uh, Glitch is gonna head out 
top and ask him cover our asses. Ask him if there's any family he wants us to let know that he's dead. If you were killed, would there be someone in East Haven that you would like us to reach out to or contact on your behalf or pass a message to you? Uh, no. I do have a brother in Greychester Port. His name is... Jesus Christ, where is my stuff at? It's Rogag. A... Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's Roro. I was trying to find... There you go. There you go. Jesus. Yeah. My brother Grogak. What's in Great Chester Pot? That's four. You sound up. Doesn't know Grogak. <laughs> um. But he like looks at the others to gauge their reactions and. We all, we, we we know who he is. Yeah. Not, not a good guy. Not a caution vein. Bad guy. He was literally one of our prison jailers. Yeah, but he had a thing for fame. <laughs> Big thing for fame. Unrequited. I didn't say she had a thing for him. Uh, we have one more question. I don't know what else to ask. Any ideas? <laughs> If anyone wants to ask a, a questions to them. <laughs> we get enough information from you? What happened to my camera? Uh, he's going to look at Sir Honorable Man. <laughs> See if he had any questions he'd like to ask before he asks one. He uh, has no questions he wants to ask. He leaves it to your spell. Do you have any advice for confronting these ladies? Did anything work against them? They were totally hats, guys. Now they're changeling. <laughs> they seem to kill a for spot. How do you deal with somebody who just wants to see the world burn? as his body sinks back down to the ground. Well, Mr. Honorable, I think we have a little bit more of an answer about who it is that's been doing this. It's a start. At least we can tell. But to change their faces like they can change outfits, it's hard to have people prepared. Hmm. That's a report, that nonetheless. Hmm. Okay. It was those ladies, though. Why didn't they? Uh, well, we're clearly a lot tougher. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's probably true. Or they thought we wouldn't recognize or see anything. Oh, they knew exactly where we were headed. 
And now I know why their heart rates went up. Because they knew what we would find when we got here. So do we... What do we do now? We do anything with bodies? Faye, yeah, I sent you a message. A proper burial, hopefully. Frederick wants us to burn the place. I don't know why. Why do? Why are we? Why should we burn this place to the ground? Did Faye already roll for the for looting the bodies? Uh, Faye, what'd you get? Uh, I'm sending it to you. I was going to say, I would have done that as well. Wow. Okay. Uh, Faye, or G John, what are you doing? I would have been looting the bodies while they were doing this. Give me a slide of hand. With advantage. I'd... Okay. Bad John. Bad. Uh, 21. Uh, nobody's passive perception is higher than 21, so... No. Nope. I, I would say without drawing to get that 21, you're not tossing bodies around. You're just kind of searching pockets because if you start tossing bodies around, people are going to notice that's what you're doing. So I'm going to say you're for what you can get. Uh, 75 copper pieces. Okay. Uh, 30s, I'm oh, sorry, 63 silver pieces. It's a bold pieces. strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off mm -hmm. for him. And about four gold pieces. Going to all the bodies. And then, and jewelry. uh, jewelry worth, I'm not going to go over it. Like, you find necklaces. Um, you try to go and get the wedding rings. Because you remember saying those. Uh, I don't grab those. I respect that shit. Uh, oh, that's right. You said you did respect that. So never mind. Uh, but you do find probably 100 gold worth of jewelry between necklaces, rings, stuff like gotcha. that. Gotcha. Just put like 100 gold worth of jewelry. Hello, that's Nerd Holla. Welcome in, Garrus. Go ahead. Can I get shout outs for all those? Uh, for no. Nerd Holla and Garrus, please. Make sure you go um, check those check those people out. The uh, all those uh, Garrus and Nerd Holler. I'm just off tonight. Uh, they do uh, D and D streams and space survival games, painting streams, D and D world building. Um, I would because uh, I was also looting the bodies and doing that other thing. Would I have seen or gotten any of that? I guess we just split that in half. Okay. I would say you between y'all two, you can split that. Okay. Can I just message me some of what we, whatever you want to give to me from that? Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, could I ask Fane and Providence? Uh, he's, he sounds going to say, the two of you spent time in the temple, correct? <laughs> I'm in yes, danger. Yes. Yeah. Perhaps you and, and Fane and Jean Pierre together could, uh, give the corpses a, a proper send-off while the rest of us go check the perimeter to make sure it's still safe here and those ladies don't return. I, I don't know all of the, the rituals, but I can I can do some of them. All right. Isam's going to try to guide uh, Sir Honorable and Kalis, especially upstairs, to help do a perimeter check to give them the privacy they need to loot the bodies fully, mm -hmm. if that's... Nice. Wow. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll, I'll follow you up to do a perimeter check. Like, that is a very yeah. reasonable thing to ask me to do. <laughs> uh, Providence is actually going to take her job real, really seriously right now, though. Um, and so she's going to actually be kind of calm and, and um, actually like a cleric almost. Um, but she's going to mainly go to the, to the orc. Um, she's gonna like look over at Fane just in case. 
Um, and she's going to do something weird, at least weird to everybody else. She's actually going to take her sword out, and she's going to slice across the chest of the orc. And she's going to take the blood and going to smear it all over the sword. And she's just going to be saying, and she's gonna be like, you died an incredible death to a foe that was stronger than you. I will take you into battle with your spirit. And then she'll move aside to the next, the next body. And then she'll do uh, some standard rites for humans, uh, for the humans. Um, she doesn't really know what to do for the for the for the elves or the half elf, but she'll she'll do basically the same thing she did for the humans. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's how she's taking care of the bodies. Uh, she's not paying attention to what anybody else is doing, so if they're looting, it's totally fine. Well, as you're trying to do that, they'll be tossing bodies if that's the case. Everyone can continue looting for more stuff. There's now blood all uh, over her sword. Oh okay. I'm good. Uh, Aronis is going to go upstairs after a while. <sighs> Maybe see if I can go check on the horses. Um, <clears throat> once, uh, once we're done, like, checking all the pockets and, and everything on the bodies, I'll go over to the orc and, and basically do the same thing that Prue did, but only with my boomerang. Uh, and I won't cut it, I'll use the, the cut that she just did to get blood. Okay. Got to carry their strength into battle with you. Would 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 Providence know anything about about Elven death rituals? I am happy to fail in in a religion check if you'd like. Yeah, yeah. Give me a religion check because you were not tell we probably read up on them. Religion. I have a plus four. What the hell? Sixteen. Uh, unless you ask Arnis, you might skip over some to find her details, but you get the gist mm. from reading. I'm trying to figure out what else I can do. Yeah, probably something to do with leaves or something. Um, were were either of the elves blonde? There was only one full-blooded elf. Okay. And it was a male elf. Okay. He, he had blonde hair. Cool. The the uh, half elf was um kind of more of a brunette hmm. half elf. Do you think he's the princess? Uh, I don't, I don't think that works. But maybe, maybe. People change. Elves are weird, too. Yeah. Well, I mean, Arwen is kind of cool, and, and Glitch is a half-elf, so he's, like, only half weird. <laughs> but I like... Not necessarily their, the, the, their personalities, but, like, their, their, their society is weird. I don't yeah, know. but I mean, like, like when I first met you, it was like really awkward. Like I didn't understand anything you. Yeah. Be patient with people. That's fair. Okay. I'm I'm done down here. Did you guys get everything? Uh huh. Do you think we should burn this place down? Um. If we burn it down, then we can't sell it. Oh, yeah, yeah. We should just go into the town and give away the deed. Sell the deed. That's auction I mean. the deed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've never seen an auction. I've seen I've seen one once. I don't really I don't understand them, but people like them. That's, that's mm. all I know. I don't Do think they have to practice works. to talk that fast? 
Ricky, say again. You asking me? No, she's faint. Faint, faint. Oh. Said, uh, the top like, that's what she's referring to. Yeah, I was just saying, did, do they have to practice to do that? Probably. Mm. Cool. Oh, with that, Providence will start walking back up the stairs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> are you staying down there where they're looting, or are you waiting for you going to let them loot by themselves? I'll let them loot. If, if, they, if they're not done, she'll let them finish. Um, if Assam sees her come back up, she'll see that there's definitely a bloodstained sword. Um, and if he knows anything about orcish rituals, then he'll know that she actually did stuff. Like, she actually took his request seriously. Uh, Proficiency John, in religion. <laughs> John and Fame. You find about a to roughly total of 25 more gold. You found uh, one of the, let's see, uh, the Middle Age Half Elf. Um, he had a deep, like inside of his coat, whatever, that one of the bodies was laid on. It had a, was a stack of coins. Then on the inside of uh, the Middle Age Halfling. Fane, you immediately see this dagger. dagger. The persimmon dagger? Yep. John, you see it too. Um, I am upstairs now. Yep. He's like, per he's up. Per 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 <laughs> thing. That's the persimmon dagger. The what dagger? The, the, the persimmon's dagger. It follows Prue and I everywhere. Uh, John, you see a dagger that has six heads on it of a dragon. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. The... <laughs> Not the five, the six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to shout out for to... Rusty, please. Somebody already did it. Cool. I'm going to try to right. poke the, the dagger. That's it. I can't see anything. Wow. It's there. That's the dagger. Okay, I'm going to grab it then. You and... grab the dagger in this. Yep. And, uh... you're, hearing, you're hearing your head, Fane. Found you again. I think. And that's where we're cut for tonight. Aww. I don't yeah. get it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the right. figures. I, I love doing that. Murder! I hate that dagger. <laughs> I was never going to turn to him and be like, I think What did that dagger ever do to you? Before Made me attack my friend. <laughs> JK. Uh, before we do end, though, and before this is like, um, at that, that coin patch I found earlier, I would have counted that part by this point. How much would be in there? During you looting? Mm -hmm. Sure. No, the coin pouch in the desk that I found. Yeah, upstairs. that we found upstairs. Yeah, I, I figure it's good to say this now than next week. Oh, I had it rolled. Uh, it was 19 gold. Cool. I used the platinum run. And if you let me finish. I don't like that roll. Let me roll this die. Oh, that's even worse. There we go. Sits platinum. I'll take that. All right. Nice. You're robbing dead people. Uh, yeah. I'm rubbing. Okay, that we coin pouch was a dead them. business. It's different. Uh, <laughs> God Tozak is the god of blind rage and the god of raids. Do you think they just go and kill people and leave all their stuff? What you didn't kill them though. I, you, that's okay. you did I'm not claim raging. what you killed. Yes, I. I can absolutely claim. Stuff off of dead things. But you didn't kill them. It doesn't matter. I can still raid them. That's part of looting and pillaging. Mm -hmm. Pirate stuff. <laughs> huh? Thanks. It's just like pre grave robbing. It's totally fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh I still gave respect to the orc. 
All right. Well, that is going to call it for tonight. Uh, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below what your favorite uh, part of the episode was. Uh, leave an emoji uh, if you don't want to leave a comment. And also, the Black Order is coming exclusively to YouTube with our lovely friend, Nerd Hala. So make sure you tune in for that. We're going to have our first recording on Mon or on Sunday night. So hopefully I can get that uploaded on Monday for you guys. Um, I'm excited. Very. <laughs> yeah. Can uh, we whatever... be watching? Like, are, are we allowed to watch that? Yeah, it's uploaded to YouTube. Yeah, I should might find out what's going on on a great chest report now you left it. Ooh, that'd be awesome. Mm. They can um, take care of Oh, yeah. You're just not going to see anything they did. That's what right. about to do. Um. I don't know what they're going to do, actually. I shouldn't speak for them like that. But anyway, uh, one last time around the room, JR. And now start looking for somebody to raid, because I always forget to do that. JR the nerd. Uh, I've been taking a week off. So uh, usually we do play on Sundays and every other Saturday and every Sunday. Uh, schedule is a little bit off because I'm in transit then this month and next month. But uh, yeah, come over and check us out. And uh, Silver Wolf? Uh, Silver underscore Wolf underscore 8. I know a lot of underscores. I will probably be streaming Friday again around 7 p.m. Mountain Time. I'm not quite sure yet, but hopefully around there. And we'll be back with Warzone or Apex. So, um, so only people we have on... I mean, we can rate Ink and I. They're playing a rogue, uh mm -hmm tabletop game but uh dort tells they're just doing their marathon and we raid them all the time so we might rate eek and ire they're playing a tabletop they're playing chromatic academy so we'll go right into them uh thank you guys and uh remember if you think you're immune to death that's not how that works have a great night guys <laughs> <laughs>